Bruh. <laughs> it has been a minute. Hello, everybody. Sorry I've been bunged on for the past couple of days. I've been super sick. Like, massive headaches. The, te the, the weather... The weather change that came out of nowhere uh, came out of nowhere and really messed me up. But we're back just in time for Crimson Invasion. We're probably going to be doing some uh, Crimson Invasion deck building later as well. So be on the lookout for that. But hello, everybody. Swampert is here. What's up, bro? What's the all for? What happened? Astro's up by five. That's good to hear. What's up, Blake? First sponsor. What is up, my dude? What's up, Nelson? Astro's are up by five. That's good to hear. It's good to hear. It's good to hear. <clears throat> what am I doing? That's not what I want to do. We're going to take this. What's up, Timmy? Ooh, what's this? This is new. I don't know what this is. It's a Mew. I want this card. It's not a good card, but I want it. Psycan. May have your opponent reveal his or her hand. Bro, that's dope. Bro, where's this card? I want this card. <laughs> that's a really cool card, actually. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, well, I'll get this, I guess. We'll, we'll open it up later. That's pretty dope. There's a Gengar box. Comes with three legendary treasures. That's cool, I guess. <sighs> Sorry to me, I just sneezed and like I didn't want you guys to hear it. Do I have these? I might, I might not have those. Let me actually check if I have that box. I might buy that box. Uh, collection. Yeah. All right. What's up, Jeffrey? Hey, what's up, Double J? Do you have Android app? APK still not dropped yet. The all is because Bad Crow was here before me. Oh, dude, he's not even here right now though. So <laughs> taking a voice up Friday. I bring like Bitcoin. Bitcoin is loving me so hard right now. Up to four hundred in like four hours. Ooh, mm, tasty. <laughs> Let's go to uh, Game Billiards. Do I have the Gengar one? I don't think I do. I just like collecting these deck boxes even though I never ever use them. I don't think I have them. It doesn't look like it. Dude, I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> look at this. Uh. But what's up guys? Sorry, I'm like, I'm like super sick. <laughs> I'm like still kind of, still kind of feeling it right now. Um, I'll, I'll be streaming though. I do want to build some decks. Let me just do this. Because I, I want to have some fun pre-building for Crimson Invasion so I don't do too much. We can just start playing next time. Uh, but I want to finish at least one challenge, get it out of the way, maybe two. While we just kind of relax. Put 10 Dark Pokemon. Yeah, hey, we can play Decidueye. I'm still, I'm still playing with Decidueye anyway, so this works out. Let's play some Decidueye tonight. Like we always do, because the Sigway is that boy. Still testing the deck. We got a bunch of codes in as well. So we can do some pack openings to end the stream off. Because tomorrow, hopefully at midnight, or whatever time it releases tomorrow, I can uh, just stream it on that time. You know what I mean? Just to open up all the Burning Shadows packs. There's a lot of decks I want to play. Also picked up Polar Chorus today and expanded Zora because testing super well. Hey, cool. I'll play I'll play your deck build if when, whenever you want me to, whenever you're like set with it, bro. Fish my dream of garb deck IRL. Are you playing the Shining Jirachi? You gotta be playing that Shining Jirachi, bro. What's up, Kyle? How you doing, dude? Dude, the ladder is dead. Nobody's playing Pokemon. They're all waiting for uh, they're all waiting for Crimson Invasion, bro. To see if it actually matters. Koozie King. <laughs> dude, I left out a five game win streak. Let's keep it up. But how are y'all doing today? By the way, drop a like if you haven't already. We will be doing the giveaway people today. So if you have donated, um, you have a chance of winning some really cool cards like Hyper Rare Zork, Secret Rare Choice Bands, all the works. And if you, uh, because I haven't streamed the past two days, I'm giving you guys a chance to donate today as well. So if anybody wants to donate even a dollar, we have very, very little entries, which means even a dollar will give you a chance of winning. Just like, just, you know, if you guys are interested. <clears throat> I can't attack this turn, so there's no harm in doing this. Just because like, what am I gonna do with it, right? We're playing against de-evolution, which is scary, so I gotta keep that in mind. This deck, this hand is not good. It is not good. We can do spread damage next turn. Maybe evolve, maybe put down a couple other Pokemon. Hopefully top tech something, who knows. But we get, nope, almost misclicked. There we go. 
Dodgers better win or, or bomb or I'm sp or abandon someone. Get out of here. Leave my leave my presence. Very shiny muse for the chorus and other stuff. Dope. I don't have Stardust or not that Jirachi, the uh, Shiny Legends Jirachi. When is some basic coming out? <laughs> hey all you guys. By the way guys, drop a like if you haven't already. See we are playing against Greninja. So if we can, you know, top deck a Ultra Ball or Decidueye, we'll be in a really good place because we just attack non-stop with it. Uh, okay. Uh, sure. <clears throat> What's in the deck? I could also get Zoark, but that would be kind of bad. Let's just get Decidueye because we have no reason not to. The only thing that's going to suck is if he, de if he devolves us. So maybe I shouldn't get Decidueye. Just because if he does devolve us, that's really scary for me. I think I hold off. I think what I should do here is Lele. Yeah, I think I should just Lele. I think it's unsafe to uh, get the Sijuai. Yeah, I think it's just being too greedy. I'm just going to get Lele here. And hopefully draw an Ultra Ball. I'm just trying to look what's in the deck. Uh, we have a lot of cards. Most of our Pokemon are in the deck. We have a, like a DCE prize, I believe. We have all Max Potions, which is good. Max Potions is going to be kind of useful. Dope. So I'm going to play the Sycamore, right? So just for the sake of knocking out this, I will attach a choice band. All right, let's play Sycamore here. Choice band of this, because I can knock this out with one Feather Arrow and a full bench. It's not really ideal, but it's a thing I could do. There's no point in spread damaging, because this will knock everything out anyways. Wick, Obito, hopefully I made Olivia. <laughs> the, hopefully we'll have that Naruto video up tomorrow. I made the thumbnail. So I'm pretty much set to upload it. I just have to upload it overnight, and hopefully there's no weird internet issues that always happen. What do you think you're going to pull in the new packs? Hopefully everything. That's the goal, right? We got Zoark, so we can actually do some damage. Hmm. I could feel Blower, but there's not really a point. I want Ultra Ball, but I don't know what I would get. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade away the Blower. Because I play three. So I'm pretty, pretty safe to trade away the Blower. So I'll trade away the Blower. If I can get like rare candy or rare candy, <laughs> that'd be nice. Two grasses is not ideal, but it's better than nothing. Let's ultra ball this and a stretcher, I think. Yeah, we'll ultra ball these two because I want more rallets out. They're kind of my win con. We have four rare candies in the deck, I believe. So we should be okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and start doing the damage. That way I can put this in range of feather arrows later. But we'll beat here. What's up, Jennifer, Richard? I play SBNX in my deck right now. SBNX is good. What's up? Beat we gotta fight a Dodgers fan. Dude, fight him. Beat his ass. <laughs> beat him. What's up, Robert? Okay, so I need to snipe this. Hopefully next turn we get like double stuff is he just not going to uh what's he doing here is he not planning on that's interesting i don't know why you'd waste an evo soda if you're just going to uh water duplicate anyways but hey who am i to judge i guess <laughs> it's such a weird play i would have hold held that evo soda i guess to be fair he only has two spots open so i guess that was still a decent play because i get some all four if he has all four she should. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, okay, I see. Yeah. Espeon, you gotta go, my dude. Not too sure what I'm gonna do this turn. Let me double check to see the count of stuff I have in the deck. I have... I could get Decidueye for sure this turn. Is it worth? I have three rare candies. I could definitely get Decidueye for sure. But this hand looks very good for like just drawing seven. And I kind of want to abuse that. So, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm gonna Sycamore. We'll Sycamore. We can trade afterwards to see if we need more stuff. But I like the Sycamore play here. It's definitely not a Sycamore. I also want E-Hammer. Which, do I, I, I do play E-Hammer, right? No, I don't. Never mind. No E-Hammer. No E-Hammer for me. People being negative in the chat again. I broke my ankle over the weekend. <laughs> oh, that sucks, Jeffrey. Uh, I have some cards up for trade IRL. Hey, Jennifer, pass them my way, girl. Send me that, send me that binder. 
Someone broke my head over the weekend. <laughs> I did it a couple days ago. I lost all my teeth back in <laughs> after. No, no. Hmm. That's unfortunate. We whiffed all of our fur candies. <clears throat> Oh, nice. There it is. All right. We can do this. I don't think this deck plays any form of, uh, like, recovery, like Max Potions or Acerola. At least not this deck, because they don't really have bench space for it. Hmm. No Decidueye's down there. We already attached for the turn. Yeah, that's game. As far as I'm concerned, I have Decidueye out. Decidueye can attack everything forever, so... That looked like for game for me. I just wish I did some damage with the Feather Arrow. What's up, Champion Orange? Uh, dude, wait a minute. Champion Orange? Bro, where have you been, my dude? What's popping? <laughs> How are you, dude? I traded a Hyper Lele for a Reverse Rare Caterpie. Dude, that sounds like a good trade to me if I've ever heard one. First wrestling meet and I break my leg. <laughs> I hate Robert. <laughs> oh, crap. Phone's dying. Charger, run. Run, Amber, run. Amber Diamond? Dude, this girl's a straight-up mineral. Work? Bruh. It's nice to see you, dude. It has been a while. Well, guys, if you guys don't know, Orange is an OG. Respect the man. It's hot in my room. It shouldn't be hot because, you know, it's cold outside. But it's hot in my room because for whatever reason, the people in this house like to turn on the he to heater to, like, ridiculous high levels. Not really thinking about the consequences. Ooh, this hand sucks. Uh, this is not a good hand. Dude, I mean, well, he just said it just out of nowhere. I don't, he, I don't think he's been back for long. <clears throat> Bro, Timmy, sorry I can give you much or I need to have money for Crimson Invasion. Bro, Timmy, 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 Timmy. Five dollars for the entry. That is my boy. Thank you so much, Timmy, for the donation. Who it's super helpful right now. Because if you guys don't know, I got very, very little donations this month. And, like... Because of that, I'm kind of behind on school payments, and I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. But, like, Timmy is a real MVP right now. So for the monthly giveaway, you get $5 entry. I don't know if you had another one, Timmy, this month. I don't think you did. I don't see one, at least. But we are about 120 away from, from like, from like well, now it's, like, 115. Um, so do Timmy 5 from, like, the Hyper Rare Lele giveaway. So the top deck Bridget is kind of clean, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> this man brought out the shiny Mew. It's going to be good for him, I'm not going to lie. It's Bridget. Shout out to Bridget not being prized. Okay, we have a Sycamore. No, we don't have a Sycamore prized. We have a Decidueye prized, a Grass Energy prized, a DCE prized. But other than that, like the deck's looking kind of good. Give me money because I just, I just get it. It's all right, it's all right, Kyle. One, two, three. Hopefully I can top deck an Ultra Ball or Decidueye. That would be ideal. Can I just flip? Can I turn one and flip anyways? That'd be nice. <sighs> For real, it was yesterday and suck. I'm sorry, Robert, dude. My bones are made of titanium, dude. My bones are made of aluminum. They, you know, dent a lot. <laughs> yeah, I've never broken a bone either. Unless you count teeth as bones. Then I've broken plenty of teeth. Because I fall on my face a lot. <laughs> I really need a new binder to store my cards, dude. Just be like me. Oh my god, he's playing Noivern. All right, we need to get all of our items in the world right now. You're not going to be too helpful, so I'm not worried about you. Decidueye is going to be doing a lot of damage, hopefully. I don't think I need you. Oh man, it's unfortunate. We have so work. We have a lot there, actually. Yikes. That is a yikes. I want my items. It's gonna suck that I'm not gonna be able to play a lot of my items after this. But we can flip for damage. We have Sycamore next turn, I guess, so that's decent. If we flip again next turn, we do get a knockout. Timmy is a good man. Timmy is a good man. What's up, Noah? I think it's because you missed quite a few streams this month, too, though. Mmm. Maybe? I think it's just because I was so demotivated from streaming. But also, like, the be I, I did stream, like, that whole... The thing that burned me out, I streamed, like, 14 days in a row. And that's the one that burned me out. I did miss two days late month. 
I think two, three days. I think I missed five days altogether this month, which sucks. It's a lot. That's a lot more than what I usually miss. But what can I do? I guess. What's the October giveaway right now? It is Secret Rare Choice Band, Hyper Rare Zoark, um, and because we hit over a hundred dollars, it's a hyper, uh, full art guard for GX as well. So if we hit another hundred dollars, I'll probably just throw in the Lele anyways, and you guys kill it. Um, but <laughs> it's very unlikely to happen. So what can you do? You could say Timmy is an average kid. <laughs> That no one understands. <laughs> Mom and Dad and Vicky always giving him command. We just got locked, bros. We just got locked. Zorba, I'll play you down. Do I max potion? I can't max potion. What am I thinking? We can knock out the Mew, though. Let's try to get a couple deciduous here. There's one, there's two, but no Dartrix. So it's going to be a little bit harder to get knockouts this game, especially now that we're like. You know, have no items. I could use my GX attack. But I don't think there's a point. He's going to ace roll at some point, which scares me. How many items are in this card pile? One, two, three, four. Only four. We're pretty good at, like, not using a bunch of them. So I think we'll be okay this game. 120, one, two, three, four. Just in case this might need to take, like, a big attack later. I'll attach there. It says 60 HP, right? Yeah. Maybe I should have attached a grass here in case he sonic volumes me, but if he does, I have items, which is nice. We'll flip. I have both Zoraks in the deck, so it's going to be kind of rough drawing them. I don't want to draw items. That's the last thing I want to get right now. Okay, that's good, though. I'll take that. How much is Flora Kiawe? I don't know, actually. Kind of can't get my... Hold on. Can I can't my sister and I have broken bones? Even though I doubt I'll win, if I do, can I just have a friend claim the card on PC Joe? Yeah, dude, you can. Ha whatever happens, if you win, the card is yours, so you can do whatever you want with it, including making me trade it to a different person. Uh, mine are made of calcium. <laughs> my entire spade is metal screws and rods. Um, I'm just hard body. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> All my cousin's Pokemon binder have been stolen. Oh, that sucks. Does anyone know what I help is? Someone stole my secret rare shiny Mega Rayquaza from Ancient Origins and Full Art Primal Ganon. Did you beat him up? Dude, $5, I beat up your baby daddy. <laughs> I took my favorite tweet. Uh, can you give away Reverse Hollow Judge? I can. He chooses to item lock me, which I will take. <clears throat> I wish I had a DC. Because I'll, I'll keep doing spread damage. Next turn, I can get another one out. Actually, I can't max push it anyway, so... Worth? Probably not. Who am I feather arrowing? There's no point feathering you, because I know how these players are. He's going to ace roll late game and screw me over. He's probably going to try to ability lock me, which is Yakirunis, you know what I mean? I'll try to knock this one out, since he's going to try to ability lock me. That's going to be kind of awkward. We can flip here. I want to play this. This seems like a lot of fun. Or the Astros are on the, on this. This is it. Hey, Kel, keep guys, keep me posted on the game. Dude, it's Christmas time, dude. Did you know? Never mind, I'm not gonna talk about it. Christmas time usually sucks for me because I have to work a lot and my family. It's not like it's not, not like it's not like I celebrate Christmas just because no, I just don't celebrate Christmas. Family doesn't celebrate it, but like it sucks for me because I'm like super busy and like the whole family is like negative. You know what I mean? Like it's it's always rough. And what my evolution. EX card, you kind of go through. Okay, so he's going to ability lock me, which is whatever. If I can attack, it's not a big deal. One, two, three, four. If I can get a DCE, we can do 120 damage. With a choice band, that's a knockout. We can't use a choice band, though. Over in GX would be scary if he reprinted double dragon energy. I agree. Which is why I do not want double dragon energy to ever be reprinted. He's going to end me, uh, which sucks. As there goes my decision. Um... Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to approach this, guys. Zoark's going to be really, really useful because I just hit for 120 every turn, but I need to get the Zoark, and I also need to have him not turn off <laughs> turn off abilities or turn off special energies. I mean, if he does do that, then I have a free turn of items, which is going to be kind of useful, but, you know, it's not the most useful. You know what I mean? Not anymore, at least. Max Push will be useful, but that's about it. This one coming out this month. Yeah, you do this so soon. Yo, just feel blower that floats on the garb and ability lock is no problem. You right. Pretty much I can easily do that with the item lock. 
We need a Max Luxor reprint and a Secret Rare Max Luxor. I hope we never get Max Luxor again. The card's not even that good anymore. It's hard to make it work. Ooh, look at all these items in my hand I don't want to use. <sighs> Alright, how am I going to do this? I have a couple of options. I just need top deck. He distorted, right? So I can't use items. Hmm. Yikes. Uh, let's do this. Just need a DC. That's all I need. And a Zoark would be really good as well. All right, DC is good. Uh, one, two, three. I think it's better if I attach it to Sidue. Maybe. Maybe it's better. I don't know. I'm trying to think if I should attach here or here. This I can do 90 damage. This can do 20, 40, 60. The thing is, right, he can, like, if he plays Kakui, I could get knocked out, which is not good. So maybe I'm better off attacking with this. I mean, it's a 2 at KO anyways. If he Ace Arolas, he can knock, he can keep the ability lock active. 20, 40, 60, 80 with uh, this, but it's easier to knock out. I'm going to attack with this situation. I wish I had Zorak here, dude. I could Hollow Hunt as well, which maybe would have been a good play. I mean, Hollow Hunt gets me, like, Sycamore back in DCE. But I haven't gotten a single Zorak this game. I mean, besides the Zorak that's down here already. Maybe I should Hollow Hunt and get it back. Maybe I'll do that right before I die, I think. For now, I'm just going to Rage Relief. Let's see if he has Ace Roll on hand. He needs it. He doesn't have any more bench space, so he can't play Lele. He's also a Buddy Lock, so he can't do any of that shenanigans. He could Retreat. Attack me with this, but he needs to get another Noivra, and he needs he needs stuff here, and he doesn't have an easy way to get it because his bench space is full, so he can't use Lele's and, um, you know, ability lock as well. So it's gonna be pretty tough for him, but he's gonna have to retreat and probably just break the lock for a little bit. And if he breaks the lock, I can feel blur. So I'm hoping that's the case. We need Raichu GX, that's good. Dude, Raichu GX is pretty okay. Or Raikou, oh, Raikou GX would be really good. A Suicune GX would be really nice. Oh, he's gonna break the lock. Can he... One, two, three, four. There should be only four, right? Yeah, there's only four down there, so that's not really too much of a threat. And he gets knocked down next turn, and I can... <clears throat> field Blower and Lele and... That good stuff. So he's choosing to not... He's choosing to turn off the item lock, which I'll take. Field blower. Level ball. <sighs> I think I wanna I think I might want to heal this later. But I can manually retreat if I want to heal it. But like who else am I attach this to? I think I'll just attach it here. Mm. No, I'll attach it there. Lele for Sycamore. It's my last Sycamore, but I think we'll be alright. <clears throat> Sheets fired. How do you think Pokemon should improve the stats of Dragon types if not double Dragon Energy? They're weak to guard you, don't hit anything for against, and have awkward attack costs. It's not... It's not like... <laughs> it's not like a Dragon types are bad. I mean, it's not like it's... Dragon types fault for being weak to guard you know what I mean like they can't control that <laughs> there's nothing you can do right now like the double dragon energy would not make your matchup against guardy better uh, is there anything I want to do here I missed DC again which sucks but I can at least get some knockouts here who don't want to knock out because I can only do 40 damage so 40 damage won't knock this out I'm gonna have to attack this and knock it out which is not good because I whiff DC I mean I can still trade and I can also double trade this turn, which I probably should do. Let's just trade for one. I can Ultra Ball, get another Zoark. Nice. I'm trying my best not to put items in there, but I don't want to play N either, because N is my shuffle draw. I'm playing every tool in the world right now. One more item shouldn't be the end of the world. I just need DC, man. That's all I need. If I can get DC, I'll be really good. Keep whiffing it though. Um, that sucks that we whiffed it. But we can Mallow next turn, I guess. 60. Hmm, I think I'm gonna retreat Decidueye. I whiffed Max Potion as well, bro. I whiffed a lot. 
There were three max potions in the deck. Let's feather arrow this a couple of times. Just the one. Because I can double feather arrow next turn if I need to. I just don't want to get return knocked out, which is why I don't want to attack with this. I'm going to feather arrow this as well. So I can either knock this out or this out next turn. I'm going to go ahead and retreat. There's no reason to put myself at such high risk. Because like if I lose that, I can pretty much lose the game. Yeah, I'll just do this. I want an Ultra Ball, but that's just more items than I could lose to Garb. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. He's hitting for 120, 150 at max. Which is like one away from knocking out Lele's. Anyways, uh, I need to look at the chat. These turns take forever. Um, dude, uh, dude, what's up, Visual? How you doing, my dude? Uh, I need to look at the chat. So how do you, in how do you increase... Um, I think uh, we talked about this in the ones, right? Like, I think a non-broken way to make dragon types better is to um, play something along the lines of what's it called? A uh, a, war a like evolution energy where you attach it to the Pokemon and it evolves to a dragon type. You know what I mean? In the deck, similar to like Espeon EX's ability and similar to um, Eevee's ability. I think he's trying to like make sure I don't play any DCs. He has to ability lock me, so if he can item lock me, that'd be kind of awkward for me, because I can't do much after that. I'm going to have to, like, hollow hunt. Yeah, let's see if I get a DC off the top deck. Nope. I can't trade. I have to end. It's not good, but I have to end. I didn't want to end. I need a DCE, because a DCE can win me this game. How many DCs are gone, bro? Only two. There should be two more, unless there's two prized. I know there was. I think there was only one prize when I checked. Bro, this is insane. I'm not, um, my luck is out of this world right now. And by out of this world, I mean bad. I'm going to have to sack off the Sidui just so I can use uh, the thing. Hollow Hunt. This is getting insane. Oh, well, I guess I got to do what you got to do. We'll Hollow Hunt here. Uh... Here's the thing, if he item locks me, it's not a big deal. So I'm going to actually play his hand here. Here's what I'll do. He has to either item lock me or not item lock me. Or like special energy me, one or the other. He has to make a choice. Because I get abilities if he doesn't. He can't knock me out. He has to attack me with the special energy one. And if he does that, I can use abilities and trade and attack with... I can't really attack with Zoark, but if I get a Grass Energy, I can attack with Lele. There should be one more in the deck. Actually, I think the other Grass Energy is prized. Mm, it's not in the discard pile, though. There's, there's three in the deck. There's two on the field. If he attacks me, yikes. Okay, this, this is going to be kind of tough. I'm trying to read the chat, too, so it's it's like, eh. Tweaking is a GN. So speaking in love is weak. I agree. <clears throat> okay. Melo GX is what we need, dude. Same. I love Melo What's up, Luigi the boss, bro? It's been a while. How you doing? Drop a like for you. Thank you, bro. Guys, drop a like if you haven't already. We already, we have 12 people here and 20, or 21 people here and 12 likes. Come on. You guys hit that like button. It always supports the boy. You know what I mean? Or has no top deck game. You already know. The top deck game with me is just weak. Good at making dragons weak to themselves. I kind of agree with that. How many items do you use? Not too many, luckily. I think like five. I don't know if I used any last turn. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still at five right now. What is the October giveaway? It's in the description. Just read it. Uh, I can say it again in a second. I'm just trying to focus. He's not gonna. He's gonna choose. Huh. I wish I had a Guzma right now. I can't retreat. I just realized I can't retreat. Oh, that sucks. I can't retreat. But it looks like I'm gonna go ahead and Sycamore. Can I win this? I can't use the float stone. My Guzma's in the discard pile already. I'm gonna have to let him knock out Decidueye. If I Sycamore though, is that worth? I get rid of a bunch of cards I don't need, but it cuts two more items in the discard pile that I don't wanna lose. I'm gonna hit 150. 
If I lose two more items, that's seven items. That's 70, 140, right? 170. I think I'm going to stick them more. Oh, crap. Well, never mind. I was looking at the chat. I wasn't looking. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. So, um, 70s, 140, 170 with choice band. That's actually not bad. I think I'm okay with that. Hmm. I can end now, which is probably better. I just don't like having these cards in my hand. I think now that I can just keep using my beat stick, you know what I mean? If I end here, what does that do for me? What do I get with end? More DCs, maybe? I mean, Mal Malo. I'm going to end for sure. I'm just trying to think, like, what would Malo do for me? And nothing I can think of. I could have played down Espeon and used a Shine. There's my Max Elixirs. Or Max Potions. Freaking God. Um, if I do that, I could uh, knock out one thing. So it's not really worth. Okay, we'll hit for 130. So we can 2 a KO everything, which is good. And give a tool that grants with 20 plus HP and 20 plus damage. Oh, that'd be nice. Of course, I don't know. I think that'd be really good with Noivern. You know what I mean? I don't want anything that makes Noivern too broken. I think Pokemon is doing their best to make sure that doesn't happen. Make dragons resist everything? I could see that. Since dragons don't hit weakness, Pokemon can't make them all that fast heavy hitters that set themselves up like Dragon Vault Chomp. Yeah. I don't know, man. How would you make dragons better without making them too broken? I think Noivern is like an example of a really good card, right? It has free retreat, two energy attack costs, like an item lock for 50 damage. Like, it's a really good card that's underutilized. Um, how would you make it better? There's not really an easy way. The only thing that can make dragons like super duper good is can you knock me out here? Oh, that's a yikes! That's a yikes! That's a yikes! That's a yikes! I'm surprised he's just not. Wait a minute, he's not knocking me out here. What is he doing? Because I can retreat. Is he setting it up for the GX attack? I'm gonna knock this out and then just knock out one more thing for two more, one or two more things for game. I don't know why he made that play. He just wanted to knock out Pokemon that was weakened, I guess. I, I'm not sick of worrying. I'm just gonna keep attacking. This is what I've been looking for this DC this entire game. If I had this DC like forever ago, I would have won this game forever ago. But I don't know, man. I had the Hollow Hunt for DCE just so that I could, you know, attack. There's my other one. So that's one of the th th that was one of the two that we couldn't get. So maybe the other one's prize as well. Maybe I did have two DCs prize and I just was not realizing it. The thing is, like, as far as as far as we're concerned, in standard, it's never going to be a good deck just because Gardevoir is a thing, right? It doesn't matter how good Noivern is, Item Lock can only make them last so long. It can only make them, yeah, can only fare them so long before, like, there's not much else you could do. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what you could do to Noivern without making it, like, too good to make it a better card. The only thing I can think of is, like, the evolution card, right? It'd be nice to be able to evolve right away into a Pokemon. Maybe give it as long as this Pokemon has its ability attached. Oh, that's really nice. As long as this Pokemon has this uh, energy attached, it cannot be devolved through effects. That'd be really cool. Oh, there's my other DC. Thank God. Um, I'm not going to attach this yet, but I can do the do now. Start trading. So does that mean I win? Yeah, I win. I just uh, attack this. It's a really risky play, but to be fair, I did have everything I needed. <sighs> this deck, dude. This deck is wild. Oh, and my other grass energy was prize. Okay, I just gotta start writing down my prizes while I'm like playing, because, you know, <laughs> shenanigans. How much did I do? I think we're gonna start building some, uh, nice. We're gonna start building some Crimson Invasion decks. Specifically, there's one deck I wanna build. Nelson's not here right now, or Nelly. Um, if he was here, it'd be a lot better just because we built this deck together, but whatever. All right, so no more daily challenge. You're not going to ask me for one? All right, cool. Boom, doom, man. What's up, bro? It's a steal. I'm one guardy short of a guardy deck. Cool. I'm selling my seven floor trainers for $8. Each, each, $8. These are $8 altogether. 
Give Dragon types a version of Rainbow Energy exclusive for Dragons and doesn't take damage. That could be cool, I guess, but it doesn't, that doesn't seem like good enough, you know what I mean? Basically, that changes one energy from their attack cost to the base energy. A basic energy? That's just, that's just breaking the rules of Pokemon. Zernish GX should be a thing. Then I kind of agree. I mean, like, other fairy types should have GXs as well, so we don't just have, like, Guardi being the most broken card ever. We have other cards that are uh, just as good, in my opinion. Take out the ability garb, though I think you know that already. Wait, never mind, you win. What was that man doing? Well, he was just trying to make sure, like, to be fair, the, uh, since I already discarded one of my one of my uh, field blowers, he had to make sure, like, he was going off the odds of him not having, of him not, of me not having it, because he couldn't distort there. If he distorted there, he lost anyways. He couldn't just attack. He had to break the item lock, and if he broke the item lock, he had to heal, and he had to make sure I had, he had to decrease my odds of being able to field blower my way out of that. So he ended me to three. That was his best chance of winning, but I had two field blowers in the deck, so I was fine. Yeah, we're gonna be building Buswell, we're gonna be building South Valley, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna build like a million different Buswell lists. We don't have good dragons in the format. Yeah, we don't. We just don't have any playable dragons in the format because the format around us is not good enough. You know what I mean? So like it's just it's just how it is. You need to go with Chaos Tower. Like a turbo for dragon Pokemon. See, no, I agree with no. Noah, Noah knows what's up. That would be a really good way to make dragons playable. It would make them broken because you're not giving dragons anything special. You're forcing them to play an item card, uh, which makes them weaker to Garbodor, which is good. And um, it's not good, it's bad for dragons, but it's it makes the card kind of balance. You know what I mean? You're weaker to Garb, which will stay in format as long as that card stays in format. Um, and dragon types have a niche, right? You know what I mean? It's really good if you can set up two or three of them. Yeah, because you can do like a 90 damage if they attach an energy. I mean, that's cool and all, but like, <laughs> what are you going to be attacking with? You know what I mean? That, uh, the deck itself doesn't seem very good, but it seems interesting. It still loses to ability lock, which is not great. So Valley Lapras? Eh. Nah. I think you're losing a lot of the turbo part of Lapras if you place the Valley Lapras, because like the whole point is that you can play Brooklet to get any specific water Pokemon you need. It's specifically Manaphy. Uh, Buswell on Swole, bro. I thought someone said that already. Okay, well, I read the chat, and it looks like I did one of my challenges, so there's not really a point in me continuing. But yeah, guys, if you, if you want to... Oh, never mind. Apparently, I, no wonder why they didn't give me a new challenge. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I thought I finished it, but I guess I didn't. If you guys don't know, the monthly giveaway this month, um, for a dollar you donate, you get an entry. And the giveaway this month is Secret Rare Choice Band, Hyper Rare Zoark GX, and a uh, Full Art Gardevoir GX online. So, if you guys want a chance to win, uh, donations are greatly appreciated because right now I'm like super behind on payments that I gotta make. Holy crap, this hand is some booty. <laughs> some booty. So we gotta play down both of our Lele's. <laughs> Which means we're stuck for the rest of the game, pretty much. But I gotta Brooklet this turn. Should I Brooklet? Is it worth it? We'll see what we top deck, how about that? I mean, we are gonna top deck a couple other cards. Maybe he'll end me. If he ends me, I don't know how much I like it. It all depends on what we get, once again. <clears throat> Dude, I, what's up, Nebby? How you doing, bro? It's been a while. And two Brooklets. And two Blowers. Uh... Do you have a Muck GX deck? I do have a Muck GX deck, and we're gonna make it better with Nihiligo. Play Waylord EX with Celebi promo. All right, bro, we already did that meme a while back, so we're playing against Sogoleo Metagross, which is always a joy. <laughs> What's happening? I mean, we could win this game if we set up a bunch of Decidueyes. We just need some decent top decks. I'm uh, also still waiting for Baby Lele and Baby Bulu, straight up. Don't hashtag hate Nick me. Uh, now the question is, since we did top th since we did top deck this. This is not really a threat. I don't really want to play Field Blower. I mean I might as well, right? Like what else am I gonna play the Field Blower with? Choice Band's kinda of problem. I mean Choice Band's more problematic on this, so maybe I should have held it. We'll play Do I play Sycamore? I don't wanna play Sycamore. If I broke it, what do I get? I mean if I bridge it, what do I get? I can get Zorua, Zorua, 
thing. Hmm. 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 We have four DCs this time. One choice band prize, one floatstone prize. Uh, I think we have to play Sycamore. Yeah, we'll just play Sycamore. It's unfortunate. I'm losing both of my field blowers, which means if he ever sets up Sogaleo, choice band is going to be kind of awkward. Hmm. It's going to be pretty awkward. We're losing a lot here, but I don't want to give him more cards, and I want to see if I can set up my board as much as possible. And you know what? It wasn't that bad. Oh, we have. Oh, I forgot we have three blowers. That's right, because like I'm a genius. <laughs> I forget. I forget of my superiority as a human being. You know what I mean? I have. I have evolved. I have elevated. I'll pass. <laughs> I still want Baby Lady though. Baby Lady will be fun. Although Baby Lady seems kind of broken. You know what I mean? There should be a chat reaction on YouTube, like in Discord. I mean, that happens if you sponsor. Just let you know. Hashtag spawn. There's his DC, so we can get a knockout here if we get our DC of our own, which I definitely want to do because I don't want him to have items. Did he play multi switch just now? No, he retreated last turn. That's right. Uh, I'm gonna play N because I don't want to lose these cards in my hand. But at the same time, if I can draw a, if I can draw a decidue here, that'd be really nice. Nice. That was really nice. I must concur. Uh, do I lose a field blow? I'm gonna lose a max potion, and I don't like losing the Guzma at all. But I guess I could have just lost the end there. But we were, we were set. That was our game. We did evolve one, so that's you know more points. Dude, the eight game win streak. This is why it's work, man. It's the future, my dude. What's up, Joshua? How you doing, bro? Don't end. We're still deck building like it's 2017, but we're deck building like it's 2030. You already know, bro. I've evolved. I am, I've am. i gone beyond you puny humans. <laughs> Dude, I'm so mad. I can, can I tell you guys? Like, I'm super mad. So, I was going to surprise everybody with like a really cool Sil Valley Buswell deck list. And I was really excited about it, right? Because the Valley Bus Bowl was like a thing I was really thinking about, was really testing, was having a lot of fun with. And I was going to show you guys like this awesome new deck video. Like, I'm being I'm being unique. So Valley Bus Bowl. And then, uh, and then uh, Omnipoke uploaded their video. Fire. It's time to lose, boys and girls. <laughs> uh, but we have Zoark, so Zoark can tank, hopefully. And get some knockouts with choice band and decidueyes on the bench. We just have to make sure um, that we can set up really well. So we just need a really good turn one, more or less. And the turn one's not bad. We get two Zoroas out. We want to get all of our Zoroas out this game because they're the most important part of this deck. <clears throat> so hopefully we can get another one. We have choice band. We have floatstone. We have a really decent turn one. We get a full bench is 150. With like two decidui, that's 190. We would knock out everything. We have three field blowers, so fighting for your both shouldn't help him too much. Speaking of which, Hashirama. <laughs> Hi, focusing on the World Series. Liked by. Thank you. Appreciate the like. <clears throat> hey, he called the matchup. Boom Doom. Boom Doom's trying to. See, see, it's literally, you guys know. Boom Doom is out here trying to make me. Trying to make me suffer. Yeah, we'll be running to that field blower. This man had an amazing turn one. That's not fair. That is just not fair. Is he going first or second? I think he's going first, right? I don't remember. It's been like forever, bro. It's been like a whole turn. So I think it's about time we lose, boys and girls. Uh, Lele for Bridget. Is that worth... I'd say so. Um, sure. I don't see too much harm in it. Oh, now I do. Never mind. Bridge is priced. Uh, yikes. Um, what do I do here? I think I stick more. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just stick more here. I don't want to attach. Unless it's a DCE. We can do a lot of damage with Zoark. There it is, but we didn't get the DCE. But we did get the other Zoark, which could be useful. 
Let's drop Sycamore and the grass to get the others to work out. One, two, three, four, 30, 60, 90, 120, 130, 160. We didn't get the field blower. He could get a return knockout next turn, I think. Oh, I can't evolve this turn because it's my turn one. Why did I do that? Yeah, you. I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> Forgive me. Uh, let's just do this for now. We have Bozorx ready for next turn, I guess. We Ultra Ball the grass, so it wasn't the worst thing in the world. We'll just pass for now. No Rowlet's out. I should have got a Rowlet. He's going to switch here. Start setting up with Baby Volk. Unfortunate because we don't have Guzmas. We only have the one. I guess I can get it next turn, but it's not ideal. I still need Field Blower as well. I mean, I can Mallow. Mallow gets me like DCE and stuff, but what do I want to get, you know what I mean? Do I want to do this one with a Choice Band or not? That's the next question as well. Because if I use a Choice Band, I can get some pretty fun knockouts. But then he can get some return knockouts fairly easily as well. I mean, how many, gra how many fires does he play? He did, he did play two down already, he has three. See, one, two, three, four, five, six. He already used six fires, so my chances are pretty decent. I'm gonna have to get the knockout with this Zorua though. So I think I'm gonna play the Mallow. Trade away the grass. Attack with, attach DCE, get a knockout, because I get a knockout here. So let's play the Mallow. Let's get DC Field Blower. Yeah, we'll tag with this Zorg. It's not ideal, but it's better than nothing, right? I don't think I'm going to be using Grass Energies at all this game. I'd rather keep the Sidgewai in case I have to end, or my opponent ends me. Yeah. All right, we'll just mind Jack here. We can Sycamore next turn. We can end. Like, we have options for it. We can also Mallow again if we need to. Oh, man. I really wish I had some Rowlets out, though. The, the not having not having Rowlets is going to kill me. It's King Lao. I do, I do say King Lao. I call him King Lao. Buzzwolf's great except for the weakness and retreat cost. The weakness is the only thing that kills Buzzwolf for me. Does he have another fire energy in hand? He does not, so that's really, really good for me. I can Guzma this turn, which would be useful. Which would be useful. Um, a Rowlet here would be so nice. Because uh, I don't want to... Uh, I want a Guzma. I want to keep knocking out these babies. See if I can draw a Rowlet. I don't like having the liabilities, but like, oh my god, thank you. And we even get Mallow. Oh, that's so good. Let's get Guzma here. We knock out these babies, we fill up the bench, we can get big damage with the Zoark. Yeah, I'm a fan of this play. Um, yeah, let's knock out the baby over there. I don't want him setting up his board at all. Uh, doesn't matter because I'm going to stand in. Well, Jack. <clears throat> Just defensive birch is not good. <laughs> Cynthia, I'm so excited for Cynthia, bro. I am so hyped for Cynthia. Does he have another fire energy in hand? He has E Hammer, <laughs> which is awkward, to say the least. Because he's going to Shell Trap here. I'm going to just start putting damage on the board, which is good. Oh, please tell me he didn't disconnect. Okay, we're good. We're good. I thought I disconnected for a second. He keeps putting down Pokemon. I guess he just really wants those uh, Volcanians down. I don't have another Guzma, so. Hmm. 
Him, me losing choice band is kind of bad there. But at least he's not getting energies to like knock me out right away. I mean, I could knock myself out here. It's not ideal, but it's a thing I could do. We can do this. Now, let me think about this. I could attack with this, but I'm going to take a crap ton of damage on return, though. There's eight damage counters, I think. Hmm, I could knock myself out to do 130. I know these decks don't play anything like Ace Rolla. I could also hit for 100 here. 130 with the damage is 150. I think I'm gonna knock myself out and also get like another Rowlet. I think that's the play. I'm gonna lose end though. I think I have to get a draw supporter actually. Let's get DCE. Maybe I don't knock myself out yet because my opponent's stuck. I'm just trying, what's the best play here? I don't know. I could get Coco. Coco DC, but then I can't retreat. Could also max potion. That could be really funny. Yeah, we'll max potion. We'll make the max potion play. He gets a knockout next turn, so actually that doesn't really make too much sense what I just did. Huh. Here's what I'll do then. Feather are here for sure. I'm going to go ahead and grab this stuff. I'll keep the end in hand. I'll lose the rare candy. It's not what I wanted to do, but... Now, the thing is, do I want to attach this to the Zohar? I mean, I can max potion the Lele, which is good. Especially considering his hand right now. It just puts things in range, but it just makes some Pokemon that I don't want active to become active. You know what I mean? And he can attack me with Terminator, so it's not ideal. Hmm. <laughs> So I don't think I'm gonna do it. If he knocks me out next turn, it's not great, but at least that way I can control. I can control based on that what I want to do. I want to get this out of range as well. Um, I'll just pass here. I don't know. There's there's too many things. I just didn't know what I wanted to do there. Like there's probably a lot of better options, but I just I didn't know, bro. I just did not know. There's too much going on right now. Um, I hate. I, I, and you, this is one of those things where like it's hard for me to stream and play because there's so many people. Like in the chat that are talking and asking me things and stuff like that. Joshua Chen. And I want to say hi to everybody as well. Davies here. What's up? Number one Nitro. What's up, bro? How you doing? What do you guys think of the gold cards will continue will come out in the US? How do you build a Greninja deck? Do with Greninjas. <laughs> no break though, then you can't really build Greninja. Alright, so this is going to do some mad damage here. Did he get a draw supporter? I didn't see what happened. I was reading the chat. What did he get? So I'm going to get knocked out, which sucks. Oh, he's going to start steaming up. Okay, so he gets a knockout here, right? Um, he does 40 damage. He needs to do one more steam up to get a knockout. That's 50. He still doesn't knock me out. Which, if he doesn't knock me out, I get a knockout return. So, wait a minute, he did? I guess he steamed up twice. 20. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, no, that was a knockout. Never mind. Um, okay, so I can't get a knockout on my own, which is unfortunate, but I can end my, I don't want to end my opponent. Let's see what we top, oh, I know we're going to top deck. Oh, Coco's really good. Oh, that's really sucks. That really sucks for me. This Coco would have been really nice there. Um, I guess I'm going to have to play end. I hate giving my opponent a hand, a card, like hands, but what can you do, right? He needs to steam up once, I think, to get a knockout. Twice, because he can't attach Choice Band. So there's that benefit. So the him getting a knockout on this is very unlikely. What's up, Chen? Nice to see you, Britain. Thank you for joining the Aura Army, my dude. Uh, let's get rid of a Dartrix. A Rowlet would be really cool here. No Rowlet. I mean, we could do this, though. Stretcher gets me a Zorua, which could be nice. 
having two of these Zoarks out would be really good. I'm going to make that play. This way I can do max damage as well, putting him in Feather Rare range later. Because I don't want too many Decidueyes out. I'm going to have to rely completely on the uh, Decidue here. It's going to be a 2k on this active one, so I'm not too worried about it. This Turnator is a threat. This is also a threat, so we have to take care of these threats while we can. Uh, I'll do this. I don't like that I gave my opponent so many cards. Ninetales is good. Ninetales is good. I love Ninetales. So which deck is good for starters? We're going to break it. We're going to break some expensive. Um, what's another cheap deck that's good for stand? It's kind of hard, right? Because like Lele is like the most important card in almost every deck. Uh, there's very few decks that don't play the Lele. So if you don't have a Lele, it's tough. But if you want to play on a budget and have like a decent deck, I'd say get yourself three Greninja Breaks. It's like your best play. Long time no see forgiven, bro. How you doing, dude? And Bart is here as well. I think I already said hi to Bart, though. If I didn't, though, what's up? Dude, pizza sounds good. I feel safe now. <laughs> Alright, so we can get another knockout next turn. He has two Pokemon set up to attack, but we have three prizes. We're going to have another one of these. If I get another Rescue Stretcher, we can even get like that Zoark back as well. For like late game cleanup, we have double trade because he's not knocking me out here. You could also play Zorak Lycanroc in standard. I don't think so. I don't know why Steven's coming in here asking me to play Zorak Lycanroc when he knows I'd rather play Marshadow. <laughs> Dimension Valley, you're right. Oh, he just max looks right. That's awkward. Um, you landed it too. That's a lot of energies. There's a DC, which is also super awkward. One, two, three, four, five, six. No Mala. We're going to have to play the thing again. Two. Well, now all of his energies are on the board. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's nine energies gone. So I'm going to give this man the Discord link, please, and thank you. For the Retro Inspector. What's funny, I have four, I have a full Metagross deck with no Lele's, and I have third Elite Cup. Yeah, but league challenges don't really mean much. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like a regional tournament. Uh, not to discredit your wins or anything like that. Congratulations. It's just like, that's how it is. So field blower would be good here because uh, I can just get a knockout. So let's just trade away the Sidui pieces, I guess, which sucks, but whatever. There's a Sycamore, Ultra Ball, not things I needed. I would really like a field blower. I hate that I have to do this. Especially seeing how he's going to get a knockout next turn. There's a field blower. But I need a bunch of things here, you know what I mean? Like, I also need DC, which I can get because I'm about to Ultra Ball. We'll max potion first. We'll blower this and this. I want to I wanna do some big damage or something. So I'm going to go ahead and... Do I want to end? That's another question. I can put Zoark back, Decidueye pieces back. How many rare candies are gone? A bunch. So it's not the most ideal play, and there's already two. There's already like, there's a lot of Pokemon in this card pile. <clears throat> but I don't want to end, you know what I mean? Let me just go ahead and Feather Out first before I make a play. That way something can come out that's going to take some big damage. And it could give me a DC as well, which they're all in the deck, so actually it's not really the most efficient play. I think Sycamore is going to be a really efficient play here. I can also see what's left in the deck. Oh, you're right. I shouldn't have guarded the field blow zone because that gives him a chance to use field blower. I just didn't want him to have like a free retreat money, you know what I mean? Since I was going to get a knockout here. So if I give him that, he could just go into this thing, which I guess wouldn't have been like the worst thing in the world for me. We'll do that. We'll toss Espeon because we're not ever going to use it. Let's get Zoroark back. Although the other Zoro is prized. So let's, uh. Hmm. Well, the other Zoro is in this card pile. It's not prized, I think. No, I was wrong. Um, we'll do this. It's not the best. Probably not the best play, but we're going to do it anyways. 
We should have plenty of choice bands left. We had a two more and we whiffed. I don't know how we whiffed choice band, but we did. Or DC. There's two left. There's ten cards left in the deck, and they're, I know I'm pretty sure they were all in there when I checked. So this is kind of awkward for me. I'm probably gonna have to give him Coco, which is not something I want to do. He hasn't played any Guzmas this game yet, which is another thing that's kind of awkward. No, he's he's lost two. His hand sizes are pretty low, so I'm gonna base off the fact that he just can't play them. We can get another Decidueye down if he does knock me out, which is, I guess, kind of nice. He does have a Guzma. So is Decidueye going down, or... Yeah, he's like knockout Decidueye. So we'll just get out another Decidueye. That's not a big deal. It's just kind of awkward because I don't have my Choice Band or my DCE. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I mean, I can double trade, right? But if I trade too much, I'm going to lose. He has another belt, but we have another blower, so that's okay. Dude, if I can just knock this out, I'd be in a really good place. He's gonna retreat and go into that. Go, Coco. Hmm. There's choice bands, there's step one. I can put this thing in range. I need DCE, and I really need to not deck out too. <laughs> Let's just start trading away pieces I don't need. There, there it is. So now it's not quite in range yet because I'm doing 150, so it means I, I would need two Feather Arrow hits. Maybe I should have attacked with Coco that turn, but I'm pretty okay with this play. He needs to steam up a couple times as well. I could end him down to three, which seems like a decent play because I have, I have double trade going on, so I'm going to end him down to three. I just need him to not have too many things, you know what I mean? Because I'm going to so get some damage here. This will be nice. I don't have any more grass energy, so I can't hollow hunt my things back. Let's just beat here. So he has to retreat. If he goes into this, I have a chance of getting max. I have the chance of getting field blower. I had a really good hand for next turn, but I just really wanted to make sure he didn't have too many things to win the game. You know what I mean? Because he needs to manually attach here. Can he knock me out? He's doing 170, now 200. He needs one more steam up. Oh, and he got it. That's really bad for me. It's okay, though, because we still have Field Blower. I think that's my only choice band left, though, so it's not the best for me. I'm not going to lie. We're going to have to try to get knocked out with Zoric here. He had two energies in his hand still. This deck is playing, like... I know, like, it's... I know it's, like, Vol 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 Volcanian, Volcanian and stuff like that, but it's still... You don't think they you don't think they land every energy like that. They have one card left in their deck. And there's another Volcanian ready to attack next turn, but Volcanian can't knock out another Zoark. This is not gonna be knocked out either. Hmm. Go Coco. He has one more prize left to get. I'm sure he has N in his deck somewhere. I have to play this down just to fill up my bench. We have one trade. Everything's gonna get O code pretty much. So I'm gonna lose the max potion. Just in case he Oh my god. Alright, so we can get the Sidgewai down. But we can't get a knockout here. And I can't let him knock out the Coco. There's the blower. <clears throat> Hmm. The chance still exists. I just need him to not have Guzma, pretty much. <laughs> it's like the only thing I can do here. If he has Guzma, I lose, but it's fire. What can you do? I can't set up Decidueyes safely. Hmm. So there goes my eight game win streak, pretty much. Does he have the Guzma? Or is he going to end himself to one? I think. No, there's no way he ends himself down to one whenever he's steaming up so much. Yeah, there it is. So you just wanted to do overkill. Oh, oh well, that's what can you do? He played four Guzmans and he just he just got really lucky that game. He constantly hit everything he needed, which sucked for me.
Uh, that was unfortunate. Oh, man, I had a really good win streak there with the Sidra Zorak, too. I did play Neuvern, not Neuvern, not Necrozma for fire matchups, but it, it's just kind of like uh, Necrozma gets in the way a lot, and it's hard to figure out what you want to drop for it. Golduck, then. <laughs> Golduck's not good, though. Golduck's bad. Pokemon isn't very cheap just because of like how important Lele is in decks. <sighs> Let's take a look at the deck list. I mean, overall the deck played really well. We just kept whiffing uh, DCEs. Like we didn't get attacks off when we needed them. Oops, I just unplugged my headphones by accident. Um, which is definitely unfortunate. Let's take a look at the deck. It's been a bit. I really like this deck. It's so much fun to play. It's just kind of hard to decide what to take out in the deck list. You know what I mean? Like, uh, this is the kind of deck where I want to play like 70 cards, a 70 card deck, and it would still work out for me. You know what I mean? Like, more Kuzmas would be nice, more Choice Bands would be nice. But you can't drop anything because everything's so important. This is so good. You guys saw how it helped me out in my Garbodor matchup. Even with the item lock, I was able to continuously get rid of the things to win me the game with a Garbodor and Wyvern. Obviously, you don't want to drop any of the Decidueye line. Espeon's too good. Coco's good for free retreat. Zorak is good. I want to play more Zorak. Like, another Zorua, another one of these would be really nice. More Leles. Although, I, I think I'm pretty satisfied with two Leles. Uh, this is all good. Maybe I can drop one, one of these. But then what would I add in its place? You know what I mean? I guess I could play the Neuvern. Or not the Neuvern, the Necrozma. It's just hard to set up Necrozma. Because your opponent will always target it down. And since you don't play Max Luxor, you're never going to set it up in time. That's the other thing I found out. Like when I was playing against Guardi, when I was playing against Volcanion, every time I put down the no the Necrozma, like your opponent always targets it. And because your energy count is so low to begin with, it's hard to get the energies that you need. You need like a perfect board to make it work out, which is why I don't play the Necrozma anymore, because it just gets in the way. Um, I guess I can play a second Guzma. Maybe another Choice Band. Those are options. Let's do the second Guzma. Let's see what happens. I just hate like I don't. I really don't like losing Stretcher and making it down to two because Stretcher is so good in this deck. But we'll, we'll try it. We'll see because I really want to play two Guzmas in this deck as well. So we'll play another game. See how we like it. So I'm hoping working on a what's up, champion. My boy is a champion. My boy is a king. My boy's favorite fruit is orange because he likes that bling. I don't know. <laughs> Everything in that deck is a must though, but I really want to play two, uh, two, um, I really want to play three choice bands and two Guzmas. And uh, at least with Hollow Hunt, we can get the stretcher back, like in theory, you know what I mean? What's up, Maxwell? So any questions on how many mods you have, Warbomb? Dude, enough. Do you wanna do, do don't don't never question the amount of mods, because that's how you lose mod chip. <laughs> I just opening hands pretty decent, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, now I'm pretty safe with losing a uh, Guzma here, just because we play two now. Oh, Guardi. Alright, so we need to get all of the decidueyes out. <laughs> like every single one. And Espeon as well. So that's the goal. And we're going first, so that's a Pretty nice goal to have. Hopefully we don't have uh, the, the Bridget prize, you know what I'm saying? Bridget, please don't be prized. Be your friend, be a pal. Thank you. We have Decidueye in the deck. 
we're probably going to sycamore as well so the chances of me being able to top deck are pretty low i think i'm just going to get a full bench right now i think i'm going to ultra ball for a because he's eventually going to get a knockout right and that's my time to shine with the uh thing at the same time you know what? i'm just going to play it safe Keep a bench space, bench, bench space, blah, 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 bench space open for the for the Espeon. <sighs> yeah, we'll just pass here. Maybe we can top deck a rare candy. That'd be really nice. We can get Zoark and try to get it from there as well. What should I? Which what should I go into November, December? Now that I've got time for the community game again, what should I go into November, December? That's a good question. We'll see how the meta goes because we're, we're, we're about to get a uh, Buswell GX, which is really good. So we'll see how that affects the meta. Um, but that's something you can look into, is getting Buswell. Well, there's my Espeon, which, really, which is really bad because I don't want to lose it. I don't know where my, I don't know if I have another Rescue Stretch in the deck. So this is actually an awful hand to get because I'm losing a bunch of cards I don't want to lose. And I don't want to play down Espeon because I don't want my opponent to be all like, oh crap, there's your Espeon, better knock it out now, you know what I mean? Um, oh, N is whew, beautiful. Thank you. Of course, my opponent doesn't have much, and I really want to DCE here, but looking at how important the cards are in my hand, I just want to preserve everything. Where can you situate? Oh, nice. We got it. Uh, actually, no, no, we're good. We're good. I like this play because I can do spread damage. I just hate that I'm losing a lot here. You know what I mean? I think I have to lose a Dartrix because I'd rather keep Sycamore in hand for next turn. Decidui, and then that's set up, and we're happy there. Because now I can start putting spread damage and flying flip early game as well. So it looks like this game might be pretty easy. We'll do the bench one. We'll flip. Can, I can refriend. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Is that in the PMD since you removed me from your friend list? God, I hate this keyboard. <laughs> Uh, anyways, guys, drop a like if you haven't already. And remember, we're still taking donations for the monthly giveaway if you guys want a chance to win it. I'm glad I did the bench one. I just keep sniping that one, even though he probably has a guardian hand. I'm still pretty happy I did that. Mm, maybe I should just knock out the active, though. One less guardian to worry about. So month of giveaway this month is going to be Hyper Rare Zoark, Secret Rare Choice Band, Full Art Gardevoir GX, and potentially Hyper Rare Lele if we get enough donations tonight. We will see. Can't donate till Friday? Alright, we'll be champion Friday. If you want to donate, that's always appreciated. Uh, next month we'll always well uh, we have good cards every month guys because we are been we've been grinding out these cards getting some good ones oh he does have guardy that's awkward um I have to get up early at like 7 a.m. so I can't stay up on line of res and try to get the new iPhone X dope oh that's a knockout that's unfortunate I really really liked my hand so with him knocking me out what do I want to do here I could go into Lele but then I can just get return knocked out you know what I mean. I can force him to attach eight energies and knock me out, which is good. So I'm gonna try that play. Oh, goodbye, Mallow. It's been fun. I really, really wanted to keep attacking with Top Coco there, but unfortunately, it's not gonna happen. I can get the Sidjoy here before I play that down. I don't really need the Grass Energy because I'm never planning on attacking with the Sidjoy because that means I can get knocked out easier. <coughs> We'll do this. Zoark first. What do I drop afterwards? I don't want to drop the end. I guess I'm dropping the choice band, which is a yikes. But I gotta keep my Pokemon a high enough HP. Uh, trade, choice band. Gotta start putting things in range. Hmm, that's not good. We'll evolve here. Max potion's good because we can heal up next turn. And we will Feather Arrow this. The next turn we can Miraculous Shine if we need to. 
But we got a pretty good hand for next turn, so we're pretty good. What's up, Heliolux? Yeah, the orange is back, bro. Our boy. He plays Zoark in Nine Tails. It's not bad. It's interesting. I don't know how I like it. Yeah, dude, he's been gone for a bit, so I'm very happy to see him back. So he's gonna, is he going to actually go for the energy play? Because that would be hilarious. Because I get like an easy knockout if he does. So I'm just going to go ahead and potentially, potentially knock him out with Espeon next turn. So I don't know why he's going through this trouble. I can get a double knockout too if I get another Decidueye off the Sycamore as well. This man's really going for it. Please don't end me. He's going to Guzma me. Interesting. So he's going to go ahead and take a knockout here. Probably on Dartrix, which is... It's not great, but it's manageable. So no matter what, I'm going to need a Flowstone here, right? So... Hmm. I hate that he did that. I'm not going to lie. This is still, I think, I think going out to this is still my best play because it's hard enough for him to knock me out anyways. I just really hate that I'm losing Max Potion now. But, uh, still seems like a decent play. I need a lot here anyway, so. It's probably my best way to go about it, even though I whiffed a lot here. I can get Coco back. Let's see what I, let's see what I get off the uh, trade first. What am I trading though? Oh, this is tough. What do I trade? I need an energy. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, I need to trade something. Because I'm trading Zoark. Yeah, I wanted to try to set up a second one, but... Um, we whip the energy. Which is not good. Feather Arrow. The Bench. I can get Zoark next turn. Or Decidueye, I mean... Should I get a second Rowlet down? I think I do get a second Rowlet down. Let's get a second Rowlet. Yeah, let's get a second Rowlet, just in case. Hmm. I could force him to use a Field Blower by attaching this, which is good. Uh, I don't think he'll get a knockout next turn. We have N, we have trade. I think we'll be alright. For now, I'm just gonna pass. This de evolution needs to happen. I don't want him to Guzma, the Guzma this. That's the scary part. Or how long does it take for you to upload like a 10 minute video or so? Like with YouTube processing speed? It depends on the uh, what's in the video, right? Like face cam stuff, like live action stuff, stuff with a lot of stuff going on on the screen it takes a lot longer because there's more data, you know? So, uh, I don't know, 10 minute video. It takes me, let's just say, on like, typically it takes me two hours to upload my regular showdown, my regular TCGO lives, right? So, that's like 50 minutes. So, do the math there, it's probably how long it takes. Or, uh, or when are you uploading Dream Daddy? Oh, dude, I still have that video, a video that I need to upload as well. Hmm. So what's my opponent going to do here? Because we have, if he doesn't end us, we have Decidueye next turn. He ends us, so he knows. This man's watching my stream. Somebody ban him. Somebody ban him. <laughs> okay, we got Decidueye, uh, which is good. We got a decent hand for next turn. Um, we, don't have, we still don't have Floatstone, but we can Guzmo if we need to. And there you see. So. If I did 150, it becomes 130, I don't get a knockout. So I'm probably going to have to devolve here. So let's focus on that first. I, I, we get we do get a double knockout, which is good. Um, do this here. I'm going to go ahead and start sniping this one on the bench. Feather over here. We can force him to attach an energy. I don't really like bringing this active, but uh, 
one, two, three, four. This can do 80. This can do 80 as well because of DCE. This one can set up a lot, so I'll bring this one out. We still have trades we can do, so I'll go ahead and do those. Maybe I can get a max potion here. Oh, we got a third decidue. <laughs> do I want to do that though? I think I'd rather wait till next turn. Yeah, there's not really a reason for me to do that. I'll just wait for next turn. Actually, to be fair, I'm going to get a bunch of cards off this. And I, I'll just be my last end, but I have one more sycamore left. Never mind, I'm going to wait till next turn. Yeah, I'll just shine. Plus, he can't get out. Unless he has rare candy in hand, he can't get out another guardian next turn. There's a grass energy for a hollow hunt. Not like I really want to use it. And there's a DCE for attacking. So, overall, that was a pretty good one. It's pretty good prizes. Buying max rarity, ultra ball, and lele. Probably need four of each, right? Uh, you only really need three Lele's, I think, at max. Nowadays, people are only playing three. Even that Garbodor deck that played, like, four Lele's is now playing three just because there's so many new cards you can play in decks now. Garbodor Drampa. Now you can play three. So I'd say you just get three. Um, buy me a third Hyper Lele, just a suggestion. And, uh... <laughs> or it doesn't have toes. You're right. I'm a f uh, dude, I'm a, f I'm a fish dude. I have flivers. So with three, we can get a knockout on the Zorua if he doesn't evolve, or the, or this if he evolves. <laughs> you know what I mean? We have options here. We can get a knockout with Zoroark, so we can pretty much solidify game here soon. Who lets me sponsor the SMH? <laughs> Halloween is a crazy concept, dude. Halloween's insane, bro. Federal holidays for the win, my dudes. Perfect. We even got max potion. It's beautiful. Um, it's max potion first. Ultra ball. These two for Decidueye. And pretty much win the game. Pretty much win the game. Before I do any knockouts... We're gonna end. We can trade, but there's not really a reason to. Uh, we'll just get some prizes here. There's another DCE. Did we attach for the turn? We did already. We don't have Choice Ban yet, but we don't need it. Actually, we win next turn regardless of Choice Ban or not. So we'll just go ahead and do the do. Strange Kids knocking people's doors asking for candy. It's just, that's the future, man. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. Just not on a Halloween, I'm just gonna be like, yo, I'm trick-or-treating. <laughs> It'll be like the middle of February, and I'll be like, yo, trick-or-treating, where's your candy? What's wrong? Nebby, you need to PM me, bro. Tell me what's wrong with you. PM me so we can talk. How many choice fans are gone? Both of them. So, looks like I'm just going to attack this for game. Yeah, Nebby, come talk to me, bro. That goes for all of you too. If anybody ever needs to talk, like literally PM me. I will have a I will have a conversation with you. Because who am I? I'm like my head is spinning. But you guys are all super important to me. You guys gotta know this. So if anything's ever wrong, if anything's ever bothering you, just PM me, and I'll, I never mind helping. And that should be GG. Please don't forfeit so I can do all my dark damage. All right. Yo, Nebs, copy and paste it to me too. All right, cool. There we go. 
So that's again, the matchup's super easy with Cardi. Can we finish? Oh, we're one away. Alright, let me see if I can finish that one, then we'll start building some Shining Legends deck before we do the giveaway stuff. So I like the two Goose ones, that definitely came in clutch that game. Should have gone to the movies that you didn't watch the movie yet. I will never watch I don't I do not like clowns and I will never watch the movie yet. I will never watch a scary movie by myself either. I take no joy out of waking up with sweats, bro. No joy. None. <clears throat> hey look another guardy. This is the new lit the new it is a pretty lit comedy. <laughs> Alright, now I'll go see it, you know. I just don't go to movie theater by myself like ever. When is Thor coming out? Isn't Thor coming out like super soon? This opening hand is some sort of buns, bro. It is some sort of buns. My opening hands with this deck are always buns, but we always come through somehow. What's up, bad crow? When the tenth and tenth and Avery of the B movie and two of people make a meme about it. Oh, we were just playing. You're playing Guardian. Okay, so we need to get all of the deciduous down. So hopefully we get some decent cards here. Okay, I'll take Rick Candy. I'll take N. Um, I would like a Brooklet. I mean a Bridget. Or I built a Mega Scizor deck and it's very good. You should build Mega Scizor. I did play Mega Scizor the other day and I had a lot of fun with it. It's like Mega Scizor Garb. Um, so, I mean, if you want me to look at your deck list, I can. See if I like it. It's only played my deck list once. Yikes. Um... I don't want to pass, because I want to put down Pokemon, but I really like the Sidgeway, but I think it's in my best interest to, to like play N, because if I don't play N, I don't have enough Pokemon down, so I'm going to have to play N here. As much as I don't want to play N, I'm going to have to play N. I can't attach the energies either, because that means they can knock me out. So, was it worth? Maybe. We'll see. I guess we'll see next turn. If he chooses to knock me out next turn or not, he probably won't. He'll probably just use this. But at the very least, we have potential of getting two Decidueyes next turn and a Zoark, so that's good. Didn't you brick a lot when you played Mega Scizor? I did brick. I brick super hard, but that's just literally because I was unlucky. I played four Ultra Balls and four Float Stones, and I and four sycamores four ends i played four four counts of everything but i just couldn't draw my float stone so i was never able to ability lock which means i lost the game that was nothing to do with like the deck the deck itself it's just a matter of me not being able to uh draw really well that's all uh, i don't like that he's getting magical ribbon because that means he gets a sycamore Rare Candy Guardy. So I'm, I'm gonna have to end him, which is not something I wanna do. Pass his food around. Ooh, dude, what you got in the, what you got, man? Is it homemade? I like homemade. <laughs> you had food today, dude. Did I eat today? No, I did. Kind of. Dude, I'm just gonna get two Rare Candies. Watch me. <laughs> Watch me. It's, it's happening right now. Two Rare Candies. I'm just gonna set up. Do I have Espeon in the deck? <gasps> okay, I do. Whew, that scared the crap out of me, I'm not gonna lie. Trade. Alright, damage aboard. I don't even care, because at least if you rare candies, it makes it easier for me to knock knock him out with Espeon later in the game. I really wish I just wish I had DC. That's the only thing I wish I had. But I'd rather have these deciduous out to set up the board. This one already has an energy attached to it, which means it's a bigger threat. But also, this is a threat as well. It's pretty good to spread this out because the one turn I decide to devolve, I can choose which one to knock out. Because this one devolved with rare candy. This one has 60 HP, so we can get some pretty easy knockouts. And as long as we keep tanking hits throughout the game with max potions and stuff like that, we'll be set. We have. Unless he plays like a random delinquent here, we have Sycamore for next turn as well, which is good. This is scary, that's scary. So he did not get Rare Candy Decidueye. He got Fairy Garden, so already don't like this deck build. 
Bro, I've gone to where I cook all my food for the upcoming week, all my days off. Dude, I can't wait till my own place so I can actually do that. I can't do that in my house because my house has like three children, uh, parents, <laughs> and they're all really, really annoying when it comes to that kind of stuff because they just keep eating the food, you know what I mean? So luckily, if we can just draw a max potion, we'll be really good. We'll be really set here. Oh, the end. I hate that I'm losing you, buddy. But Sycamore, definitely here. Nice. There's the max potion. There's the DCE. No. I mean, we still have, we still have this. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and use it now before I make a play. I want to see if I can get Floatstone here so I can attack. But attacking doesn't seem very safe. Dude, if I can just get next turn. Okay, I don't need to attach this right now. We'll just keep tanking hits, I guess. See, I don't want to put too much damage on one place. Because that doesn't seem like a good play either. But if I attach DC, I'm only going to attach DCs to attack. Um, start doing it here. Field blower means nothing. That will just pass. We have another max potion for next turn as well, so... We could abuse this for now. Oh, got a better job. Dude, I need to get a better job. I, I, I wish I could, bro. I gotta eat today. Dude, I don't I haven't been able to eat a lot. Just because like school has been taking over my life. My family does not support me right now because they're like super against a lot of the things I do in my life. <laughs> which is not great. And uh and uh, YouTube's been like killing me right now. Like between demonetization and lack of donations and just overall Pokemon being boring right now because there's no good sets. It's just like, it's really murdering me. So I could get Espy on here. Get a big knockout. I think that's a play I should make. I'm gonna go ahead and make that play. Before I do though, should I trade Choice Band? I'm gonna trade Choice Band just in case I get the Espy on and I don't have to play the Bridget. Well, it's not what I wanted, but I'll take it. Unfortunately, nowhere a candy. I'm gonna big knockout here. Um, nice. Look at that. Look at you. Is it done? Hey, finally. Look at you. Okay, so that was pretty clean. I have to choose another. Oh, I haven't chosen one answer. No, did I? Wait, what's happening? Um, I could do Guardy. I could do Nine Tails. This one gives me 60, though. Oh, I need healing. Dude, I need healing, bro. Yeah, YouTube's just weird. I have to, like, the thing is, right, they demonetize me because YouTube's algorithm's all messed up, and I've been super clean, right? It's just a matter of, like, oh, they think I'm bad, so I've got to, uh, I've got to claim the demon, the, I gotta claim the video as, like, hey, it should be okay, but, like, the problem with that, right, is that they cut off any money you make until they fix it, and when they do that, the money that you would make doesn't come back to you, so, and since you make the most money, like, the first day it is up, um, the first day the video's up, I lose a crap ton of money. Which is like, to be fair, I've only made at most $100 a month, but like, I go from making that $100 a month to making like 20 bucks a month because the initial views go away. So, I don't have YouTube money. I lost three jobs at once. I'm, I have a job now, but I'm only working on weekends, which sucks. And um, I, I used to sell a bunch of my cards, but now I have no more cards to sell, so... I'm about to start selling my master sets. I'm not going to lie. I'm about to sell all... If anybody needs any XY promos, I think I have them all except for the world promo ones. So... <laughs> Just clean as a family friendly. Next match is Volk. Okay, or I have passed you expand Dark RGX to take fast knockout points. Thank you. I'll take a look at that later. Um, I'm pretty happy with the second Guzma over the rescue stretcher, so I'm probably going to stick with that. Mm, should I get one more game? I don't think I want to get one more game. I think just because of how long the stream's going to be. Let's go ahead and uh, build some decks. I want to build 
some Buzzwool stuff and some Silvalli stuff. But first things first, there's one deck that I really wanted to build in this Buzzwool Silvalli. So let's go ahead and build that really quick. Standard. We'll use Zygarde's as like Buzzwools, I guess. Um, oh, I have Zygarde for trade if anybody needs them. <laughs> Thing is, time you get a more stable job, man. Well, the thing is, it's hard for me to get a job, you know, because school is like important. So it's hard for me to like find a job that's like that pays well. <laughs> not to mention, like, I don't really have much credentials because I've been in school most of my life. So it's not like I have experience doing other things. The only thing I've ever done in my life is sales, and I'm going into medicine. <laughs> and it's, I don't know, like, it's jobs in my area are not easy to come by. I mean, the job I have right now is paying for like, it's paying like $11 an hour, which is good, but it's only a weekend thing. And I could rise up in the ranks to work like five days a week. But if I do that, I'm like really killing my school, like super hard killing my school. So it's, it's, it's tough. It's tough. I'm going for dental, dental. So right now I am, right now I am getting a bachelor in biotech or a degree in biotech, I should say. Um, and I'm working towards a degree in biotech, and after that, I'm going to uh, dental school. So, lots of school in my life. Where is Nelly? Here it is. There is a deck list. Okay, cool. So let's take a look at this. See if I like it. If not, I'm gonna change it up a little bit. All right. So we want three bustles. Do I do I play Zygarde? I don't think I play Zygarde. Because just because I have still value as a second attacker, so we'll play three bustles. I don't know what to put in place <laughs> of uh Oh look, I pulled this the other day for trade, so eventually we'll do a giveaway with that for that. I don't know what to put in place of Sil Valley. But Sil Valley is cool because it gives Bus Wolf your retreat, it gives us some sort of acceleration, it gives it a psychic type attacker. Mm. What's a Pokemon that looks like Sil Valley? <laughs> I just accidentally left my uh, chat. <laughs> oh, it's still Valley in DZGO. Oh, that makes things easy then. Does that mean all the cards are in? Let me see. Oh yeah, they're all there. Dope. This is the promo one actually. But I'll put it in. Oh yeah, this still is gonna be a thing. Oh, this is cool because gear scan gets you your thing, your tool. That's interesting. Uh, one, two, three. Well, there's none in the deck, bro. What is it? What's happening? Oh, they, you just can't even put them in the deck right now? That's crazy. You cannot add more than four cards to Imso Valley GX in your deck. <laughs> Wild. Can I put this one in? Dude, you can't actually add, you can't actually add these. That's wild, Pokemon with your tricks, bro. Anyways, what can we put in place of Sil Valley? <laughs> I'm surprised you can add the Buswell, but not the Sil Valley. Putting Gumshoes, dude, you're right. As you give away like 40, I just kept pulling them, bro, and like you know things like that. Put Caterpie instead. I'm gonna put Gumshoes. <laughs> Dude, look at all the gum. Anybody want gum shoes, bro? <laughs> I've got them here for you. I've got them here. <laughs> Put in Young Goose. Uh, one, two, three. I know, um, I know Nel Nelly pl played the, uh, the Latios, but I don't think I like it. I know the math is better with Latios, but what am I doing? Uh, topical just gives you free retreat. I mean, to be fair, they all have free retreat. <sighs> I'll put Latios just because that's when, that's what's in the deck list for now. What is this card? Where does this artwork come from? I want this. 
bro somebody find me this card somebody let me know where that's coming from because i want that card that's so dope i want it isn't it cool aura Ladios and Ladios GX, please, please, my favorite Pokemon. I want, they're like, dude, I just, if I, I just need to, the only GXs I need left, right, are Togekiss GX, Ladios, Ladios GX, because we already have Nine Tails. Oh, Lucario GX. Then my top five Pokemon will be, uh, will will have GXs, bro. That's all I need. That's all I need. Is that all the Pokemon, right? Oh yeah, there's also an Espeon and a Drampa. We're just trying out things. Okay, so that's the Pokemon. Four Sycamore, four N. Like three Guzma, three Acerola. Yeah. <clears throat> I should probably uh, use the regular just in case I want to bump it up to four. One Bridget. I think we added a Lusamine as well. Just because this deck is one of those things that are self-sufficient. Like, all you do is attack for the turn. Sometimes you don't even need to attach an energy, so... Um, Lusamine kind of works. Oh yeah, Lusamine's not a thing yet. Uh, Lily. <laughs> sure. Let's make your... Replace your daughter. Mm. There's all the supporters. Ultra Ball... I think I have to remake the giveaway video for this Ultra Ball because I never gave it away, which is really stupid on, on my part. I might just like actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to PM the winners from the video from forever ago. I think that's the plan. I'll just PM people. I might even make a new video if like nobody responds as well. Two blowers, two e hammers. One stretcher, one charge. Okay, so apparently my S button's not working. There it is. <clears throat> and then the rest is energies, I believe. That's not true. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. No, this is... I think this is the entire deck list. What am I missing? Are we playing belts? Got our four belts. Oh, we're missing the memory. Psychic memories just for like Espeon. I think that's it though. So we need a memory. So what's a good tool card to represent memories? Do Alexander Spear Link. <laughs> and then 4812. And that gives us like extra space. So now that I'm done with that, let's look at the chat and see what you guys think. I think I'm probably going to play five basics, maybe even six. Oh, you know what I do want to play in this deck, though? Um, that I'm thinking about, that I really like. Is... Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. What's happening? It's picking up that my Savalias are there. But it's not showing me the Sil Valleys. It's also not showing me here as well. That's crazy. That's crazy. TCGO, fix your, fix your stuff, bro. Uh, play six of you. 
Actually, I'm pretty okay with five. I want to play Energy Lotto. I see you later, Maxwell. Take out Anzer and play some with Judge. Dude, I hate the Judge meme. Now it's getting like a little bit annoying. <laughs> I've got a full body. Let's get drunk. What do you see is four strongs of five regular fighting. You can't take out the Sil Valley. Did you actually? So if I were to like copy the deck over, what would happen? Oh my god, really? I hate you, Heliolux. <laughs> uh, whatever, that's super annoying. So I was just gonna like copy paste this. Mm, whatever, that's really annoying, I'm not gonna lie. I'll take a picture and do it again, I guess. That's super annoying. I was hoping if I just copied it over, it'd fix, but I guess it's not gonna fix. Might as well try it, but like... Taking pictures doesn't help me, because like I can't... Whatever. Copy the clipboard and delete to Sil Valley. That seems like a good idea. Um, let me copy this. It actually did show this a valley. That's crazy. All right, let's fix this. Yes. Just in case. Nope. All right, good. Standard. Oh wait, wait no, I gotta import. Um. Oops. Hold up. No, I did that wrong still. Yes. Dang, where'd he go? Where'd he go? My thing, where, my thing is gone. The thing is gone. The thing is gone. I found it. Guys, it's okay. We're okay. We are okay. Okay, that should fix it. I think that fixes it. Uh, no, now I did. Oh, no. My OCD. My OCD is triggered right now. It's super triggered right now. It's super triggered right now. Making me do all this crap again, dude. Hashtag blame Heliolux, bro. Blame this boy. Ripperonis to my OCD. Three of you. I'm just glad I didn't do the ultra wall thing. We got the memory. Okay, cool. So what's missing? What do you guys think? What do you guys think of the deck list? Hmm. Hmm. What did uh? What did uh? What did what's his name do? What is what did Omnipoke do? Oh wait a minute, Bridget. I already have Bridget. Do I have a full art? That's a good question. No, I do. I do. I have one IRL. But that, one, that one's for me. That one's my full art from Max Ready. You know what I'm saying? Bunnelby. Bunnelby's bent as expanded now. What did Omni Duck Poke do? Orangaroo? Ooh, Orangaroo is good. Orangaroo is good. I like Orangaroo. Look at Propane being a boss. Orangaroo. There we go. So that's the card. That's the 60th card. But now I want to I want to make changes, right? Um, although I don't know what changes I want to make. Potown. I don't like Potown specifically because we're playing Sil Valley. If this was just Buswell, I'd like Potown, but because Potown puts you in range of uh, 180 damage on your Sil Valley, I'm not the biggest fan of it. So I don't think I want to play Potown. Um, you don't put a Rangu, but a Rangu is super good for draw support, dude. Look at our deck. It really likes, it really appreciates a Rangu. A low and Volpix? Nah, I think I'm good with that. I don't think I need it. Play something good. Thomas, you just missed the first part of the stream, bro. Thanks, Thomas. We're also not playing this deck, obviously. This is this is for the future. We're not using gum shoes. They're supposed to be still valleys, but whatever. Let's let the trolls be trolls. It's not a big deal. Um, but there's still some some bells of choice bands. You know, I was thinking about that, and I don't know if I like that. 
The reason why I like four belts, right, is because in an evolution heavy format, one belt with one strong energy means you're doing 60 damage with jet punch. And if you're doing 60 damage with jet punch, you're knocking out Rollins, you're knocking out Ralts, you're knocking out, well, you already knocked out Zoros, who's a weakness, but you're, you're knocking out a bunch of Pokemon that are weak to fighting, or that are, that are 60 HP. And 60 HP is such a good number. Let me see his deck list real quick. Also, let me drop a like while I'm here. It's my boy. Even though I don't know. I want I want to, like, talk to him one day. He seems like such a nice guy. Um, Omnipoke. Omnipoke's cool. I like his channel. Um, two E-hammers, though? Yes, for, it's for Guardi. Because, like, Guardi has a hard time hitting your numbers, especially when you only have one, damn, one, one energy attached to you. And when you add the E-hammers to it, it makes it even harder for him to ever knock you out. Maybe I can just drop the Drampa all together. Like it's cool having Drampa, but with two Yammers, I think that takes care of the takes care of the business. I'm not the biggest fan of Potown, so I don't want to play the Potown. I really just want to play like Energy Lotto. Because getting strong energy turn one is so good if you can pull it off. I'm playing a 3-3 Silvalli line. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you have more belts and puzzles? Yeah, but I just explained to the why like, I think they're super important. Yeah, but we have Guzmas, and that the whole point of like playing So Valley, or well, not the whole point, but a good point of playing So Valley is that it gives your basics for your treat. So Buzz will have for your treat, so it's not a big deal. Four ends of four spins will seem high, especially when you have three Lele's. Yeah, but it's just consistency. And also, we're probably, we're most likely going to be using the Lele's to get, like, Acerola and, um, not in, but Guzma as well. And we have so much free bench space in this deck, so it's it's three, three Lele's is never that bad. Bro, accept the squirrel friend request, and I'll send you over a fuller Bridget. Can't handle you running that peasant version. <laughs> uh, thank you, bro. I've never been a big, I've never been a stickler for Max Ready just because I play, like, um, just because I give away all my good stuff, but if you want me to play with a Fire Bridger, bro, I will gladly accept your kind request. Lily is supposed to be Lusamine, and I'm not even sure if I want to play the Lusamine, to be honest. Why do I have Mega Alakazam links? They're supposed to be the psychic links that make that make your um that make your Sil Valley a psychic type so that we can knock out Espeon, because Espeon's like your worst enemy. <laughs> It's super bad for you. So to have a Pokemon that can Oko Espeon is really good. So oh, what's up, crazy Poke Trainer? It's been so long. So what do I want to drop for like one or two energy lottos? I think the first thing, we don't really need this. That's number one. It's cool for against Buswell because you can do like what? What is it, 30, 40? We can do like 80 damage to Buswell, and Buswell can't knock us out. But the see, the Buswell mirror match is scary, but we also have Sylvalia already. Sibling so Bench for another 30 is cool and all, but like, I don't know if it's worth. So I think I'm going to drop this for at least one. Um, the Field Blowers are good. I kind of, like, I don't know if I need two though. But I'm also afraid of being like item locked too much. Also, like two field blowers is kind of like a staple for me. I always feel safe with two field blowers. So then I'm going to keep it at two field blowers. I'm also probably going to drop the Lusamine. Because I don't think I need it. Because I have such a heavy count of cards already. Special charge, belts is good. I kind of want to play a Skyla as well. Hmm. Skyla means I can, it can help me get belt when I need it. Can help me get the spirit link. Skyla seems good, but I'm also like I still want to play Lottos, bro. I think if I play Lottos, I can actually drop one fighting. But I'm already playing just five, right? And I want to make sure I can put some in the discard pile. Why 
Well, my thing with loose meat, right, is after testing it with, um, after testing it with, uh, well, I'm not playing loose meat anymore. Obviously, I didn't realize anything, but like I do agree with you. I don't really like loose meat in this deck. But my thing with loose meat, right, is that after testing it in nine tails, it's pretty interesting because uh, in decks that are very self-sufficient, like you don't need to play a draw supporter, you don't need to play anything that turn except just attack. Um, Lusumine's good because you can get your supporters back for later in the game. It forces your opponent to end you a lot of the time, and then if they end you, uh, you got those supporters back in the deck for later. So I like Lusumine as a card itself. Um, in this deck, I think you're okay. It doesn't help anything, it just kind of slows you down in this deck. Or do you think this will, be inc this will increase Espeon Garb's popularity? No, uh, I think Espeon's becoming more of a staple in Drampa Garb as like a 1 1 or a 2 2 line. And Drampa Garb's already really good, especially now that they have both Shiny Mew and Shiny Jirachi in their disposal. Shiny Jirachi being able to knock out evolution decks fairly easily with a Choice Band and Potown. So, Espeon Drampa, or Grandpa, Drampa Garb, in my opinion, is probably the best deck out there right now. Once it, once it, once we get to a tournament where they have, where they were Shiny Jirachi is legal, I feel like it's going to be pretty popular. Um, but we'll see what, we'll see what happens. I'm pretty confident in that deck though when I play tested with it. It was just, it was so easy. Like that, that deck is so good. Are playmats still available? Yes, Champion Orange. 13 energy is a heavy count for a deck that can't attack one energy. I get you're playing still Valley, but still. Um, I kind of agree with you. The thing is, right? You you need you need the four you need the four strong energies, right? So Valley is your late game killer. Like it actually knocks out a bunch of things while setting up your bench. So you want your three, you want your four DCEs, and you want to have plenty of basics to toss in the discard pile so you can take them, so you can take, so you can get the most use out of your Sil Valley's attack. So that's why I'm playing a heavy kind of energies. And once again, you do want to attack turn one, or at least attach turn one, right? So having a lot of energies is good. Hmm. Right now we have space for two Lottos. You think Raichu Eels will be a viable strategy in Expanded? Raichu Eels? No, because you have a uh, Rayquaza. Shiny Rayquaza is really good. It's like stupid good in, in with Eels. So I think that deck is just better. If you guys don't know, by the way, what he, what Champion Orange is talking about, we got Playmaster Sale. Boom. Did you see it? It's dope. Look at it. It's cool. <laughs> we got Orbomb Playmaster Sale. Tell you, man, they give you a 99% chance to win all your games. Fun fact. Okay, fair enough, but I'm saying that will Espeon GX be a thicker line due to Drampa's weakness? Uh, probably. I mean, I don't think you could fit more than a 2-2 line unless you take out Drampa's altogether. Um, Fates Collide Mew. Uh, uh, I don't think it's necessary. Like, it's cool. If I played it, I would probably play it over the memory cards, but I like the memory cards more because I can just attach them and attack, you know what I mean? Hmm. It's dope. I hate it. It has, Vol it has Shining Volcanion in it, and more than just my hatred for Volcanion as a card, because I actually have it right here in front of me, it's, um, it's like... Any any shiny Pokemon that has that piss that piss yellow color, I just I just don't like it. I'm also not the biggest fan of like shiny of shiny Jirachi, but Pink Celebi, bro. We don't. Ugh, I love Pink Celebi, bro. Pink Celebi is one of my favorite. But although shiny Ho Oh is another or shiny Lugia, I mean, is another card I just don't like. There's another Pokemon artwork I just don't like. The mat's cool though. I have it here in front of me, and I'm gonna use it in videos whenever I record with my brother or something. Now that I have a mat that is on like ARG, because it was like the only good mat I had. So now I have two decent mats, so that's pretty cool. What's up, Melanie? Buzz just smacks Mew. I wouldn't play face Clay Mew, you can't test strong. That's true as well. Um, so, I want to attach, I want to play two, I want to play Skyla for sure, because we have a lot of cards that we would love to grab with Skyla. But I think I'd rather play two lottos what do you guys think should i play a one one split should i play two lottos or what what do you guys think 
I could also drop. I don't want to drop a Yammer because there's a, the decks that that we do lose to uh, play special energies, primarily uh, Glissopod, or not Gliss yeah, Glissopod and uh, Gardevoir. And Gardevoir, I mean, we lose everyone loses to Guard. Everyone pretty much loses to Gardevoir, but and uh, but like Espeon is slows down. Espeon slows down. Glissopod slows down. Garbodor slows down a lot of decks, and that's always appreciated. So I don't want to lose an E Hammer. I like two E Hammer. This split I like. I like the being able to draw a lot. Uh, I like the two memories. I like this. Like like I said, it's too important against too many matchups for me to not play that. I think I have to play a Skyla. Would this deck be good in Expanded? We have a... We already have a card like this in Expanded, so I don't think so. Like, we already have Landorus in Expanded, and nobody plays Landorus. So, that goes to show you anything, I guess. Uh, hmm. I got five cards from my buddy. I'm going to send you the packs. Hey, thanks, bro. Appreciate it. It's my boy. Uh, dude, I bring the luck, dude, is like... First of all, I'm going to say this right now, dude. I bring the luck is like that boy. He's going to be in a video with me that's coming up tomorrow, hopefully. And, um... Like, clean mic quality. Super duper generous. Just want to let you guys know. Sub plebs. What's up, visual? Building a troll. Best buzz, buzz was about deck since the deck cycles energy and denies prizing is fun. Yeah. I'm playing three. I could bump it up to four, but right now I'm, I'm just trying to, like, make the deck work. You know what I mean? Uh... Going to watch the Let's Play of Bendy and Ink Machine Chapter 1 soon. Hey, cool. That deck, deck looks kind of dope. You don't own all the cards. Sure. So that's number one. So Valley Bus will... Is that how you spell bus one? Okay. Cool. Um, so that's the first deck. The next one I want to build is Metal Based Sil Valley. Because Sil Valley is good. Playing it with Metal Pokemon is good because Guardi. Oh, look, I have all the Shining Legend boxes thingies. That's cute. Um, sure. Gotcha. Gotcha. So. Let's copy this. So let's play Metal Base of Valley. We don't play any of these. We keep these. What did I take out? Yeah, I took out. No, I, I'm keeping these. Never mind. These are the Soul Valley part. Metal Base Soul Valley. Do I want to play Zoark in Metal Base Soul Valley? I think I do. Because trade is good. And there's a lot of uh, recursion. So I think I'm going to stick with Zoark. We'll, we'll at least try it. We could also play the other one as well. We could play like a heavier line, right? We'll see. Well, I'm just gonna play stuff and whatever we don't like, we won't keep. How about that? There's no reason for me to play. There's no reason for me to be like careful in this part of the deck building. By the way, guys, these are part of the monthly giveaway. Just wanna let you guys know, we got two of them. If you guys want a chance to win, all you gotta do is donate. I'm just letting you guys know. Fact, factoid for, for you lovely people. Um, Take this out. All right, so metal Pokemon that are good. Uh, Magirna, Magirna can Oko, which is good. Um, we need Registeel, so I'm gonna play Evoltol as like a uh, reference because they both do the same thing. I think a two count line, maybe even a one count. Are you going to play Scizor in this deck? Probably not. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, Registeel is good for also for more accelerating. Uh, in this deck, I think I do want to play Necrozma. Still one of. Puts things in range of uh, Silvalli as well. And since it's super easy to set up in Necrozma on like, the other deck, because it just takes like, you accelerate once and DC the next turn, it's pretty worth. I think it's pretty worth. Uh, what else? What other good steel type Pokemon are there? Kabalion gets some really easy knockouts against Guardi. 
Cabalians was good. Revenge Blast was good. Um, Jirachi. Stardust Jirachi, is it worth... I think I'd rather stick with my E-Hammers, to be honest. Is Drampa worth? I don't think so. Um, I think that's it for the Metal Pokemon. As far as the Pokemon line goes, I'm pretty happy with this. As for everything else, we don't need you anymore. Uh, two of these is good. One, this one, this one, this one, this. Ace Rollas. We're going to need less Ace Rollas. I think we're good to stick with two. Ace Rollas are still good, but like I don't think we need that many. Uh, we don't need Skyla as much anymore. We can play the Fighting Memory as well. We definitely don't need you or Strong Energies. We can actually cut down a lot of energies. Um, but I got to play the Fighting Memory as well because it helps in the Mirror Match as well as like Drampas as well. So we got to play a Fighting Memory. Is there like a Zygarde Spear Link? No, there's a Zygarde thing, right? Uh, let me put Zygarde here. Yeah, we can use Power Memory. It even has Memory in its name. Um, we can use steel. We can have seven steel. I kind of want more than that. What do you guys think so far of this? <clears throat> what needs to be added? What needs to be removed? Let me know what you think. So I want to play more metals. I want to play, like, I usually play at least eight. eight oh. My voice is going away again. Kartana? Ah, uh, you know, is Bench Space good? Bench Space seems pretty good. We can play Kartana. I like Kartana. We'll play Kartana. Uh, what's a good card to represent Kartana? Have you ever run the normal Electronic Magnite form in a deck? It's actually pretty good. Ah, I've, I've seen it. I've seen it being played. I don't. I don't hate it. I would think about playing Scizor because I can one-shot Guardy with Choice Band. Well, I'm not too worried about it to be honest, just because we have Magirna. Magirna can one-shot Guardy. Cobalt can one-shot Guardy if they take two prizes with like Choice Band. Oh, Age of Slash. You're right. I don't actually remember how to spell it, to be honest. Let me just type slash. <laughs> no, that's going to be annoying. I'll just put like a random one. Sure. Back to filters. Um, Bisharp? Bisharp? Why Bisharp? Oh, Bisharp to represent Kartana. I, I kind of like Bisharp more because Bisharp's a doper Pokemon. Hey, what you doing? Oh, I <laughs> miss. Shoutouts to me. Bisharp for Kartana. Evil Tall Placeholder for Registeel, yeah. Hmm. I kind of like that idea. Uh, just because also Kartana can attack and get out of there. If we needed to, in case we're not doing too much damage that turn, we want DCs back in the deck. Uh, but what else should we take out? I still want to keep the one of E Hammer because like the this, the E Hammers are just so useful right now. So we lose the fire. We have the Crowds which will help us a lot in fire. And once again, the two ten HP Pokemon are always good to have. So it makes it harder for uh, fire type decks to knock you out. That is a lot of Pokemon, but we're pretty good. Like, I don't, there's not really a problem. I could cut down the uh, Zoark line, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with like the way this deck looks right now. Just a metal variant of a um, Silver Valley deck. No Choice Bands yet. Uh, should we play the Choice Bands? You know, Choice Bands are kind of important actually. Choice bands are actually kind of important because, like, Silvalli into like attacking with both Silvalli and uh, Type Null, with one of them having a choice band, means you can knock out 180 HP Pokemon. Uh, choice bands are just good in general. We need the choice bands for Col for Cobalion as well. So let's actually cut some cards for choice bands. We'll take out that Zoroark. As much as I like it, 
We have free retreat with most of our Pokemon because of Soul Valley. We need to cut out. I think I want to cut out one more card for Choice Band. Equinox, bro. How you doing? I feel like you've been here before. It's my birthday on November 2nd. Hey, happy early birthday, my dude. Energy Lotto? I don't like Energy Lotto in this deck. Oh, Ace Roll is cool. Like, and two 10 HP Pokemon, dude, that, especially when we're going to have so much energy on the board all the time because we're constantly accelerating, Ace Roll is like literally like the hero of most decks when it comes to high HP Pokemon that are accelerating. So I'm, I'm going to keep Ace Roll around. Because deny and denying prizes is just so good. It's so good. Um, so we have room for two choice bands. Do I just take out the E hammer and try to like focus a little bit more on consistency? I think I do, just because the decks that I would would lose to lose to. I mean, besides the spot, I'm still I'm not going to lose to as much because we're playing metal. So I'm gonna play three choice bands. I can take out the. I'm pretty comfortable in taking out the Skylar as well, which I guess I already took out, so never mind. Three choice bands. Is there one other card I could drop just for OCD purposes? Should I drop special? You know, I can drop special charge. I don't need it because I'm accelerating energies a lot, so we don't need special charge. Yep, and we can play an eighth, eighth energy. There we go. I'm pretty happy with this because we're accelerating energy. Um, that isn't like strong, you know what I mean? So I'm pretty happy with getting a special charge. And there we go. There's a deck list ready. Uh, so there's this Metal Soul Valley. Whenever the Fire Memory comes out, it's going to make your Metagross matchup good as well. Electric Memory doesn't matter, but the Fire Memory we already have confirmed as well as Electric, so we're getting those at some point. The only thing I'm waiting for is like water, and then this deck would be amazing. Soul Valley, Metal. I'm gonna call them also Valley, so whenever I play them, it's easier for me to find them. Save. All right, let's go check out these trades. We got some pack opening to do, as well as the giveaway to announce soon. Uh, speaking of which, can uh, a moderator for me? Dude, thank you so much, bro. That's so stupid generous, dude. That's like stupid generous, thank you. Uh, can a moderator like count up the total? For me, please and thank you. <laughs> Judge and perch. <laughs> Get out of here with this. What's another deck I want to build? Uh, I want to build a. Let's just build like a straight Buzzwool deck. Um, I'm trying to think. I wish there was like easier tech you could play. Like, I would like to play a fire tech when I'm playing Buzzwool. But there's no like easy to attack with fire Pokemon, you know what I mean? You're welcome for the bridge, do you appreciate you, Brick Dog? If only they were if only they were legal, bro, I'd totally play them for sure. Dude, look at look at this deck box guys, it's weird. It's like right here is weird. Also apparently it's legal, so <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Um, God, you stupid cat here. Let me take Buswell here. Just, just gonna make this a Buswell deck so we can play a four of count of you. Drop you guys. Keep the Espeon, keep the Lele, keep this, keep the special chart, or keep the energy lotto. Drop the DCEs. Play more of you. Keep these to get rid of the memories. Get rid of the, uh, I'm going to keep Skylab because I'm fighting for your belt still. Uh, we're going to keep this count. Keep the special charge. The deck doesn't change too much, actually. That's funny. We'll play Zygarde so that we have a Grass Week Pokemon instead of a Psychic Wing one as well. Probably just a one count, though. Don't need really more than that. I could play Regirox, I could play Garbodor. Do I want to play Ability Lock or do I want to go the Regirock route? If I go Regirock, I could take out the fan clubs. 
I take take out the Bridget and put in a fan club instead. Um, is Lycanroc Buswell viable? It is, which is another deck I'm going to be building as well. But uh, I'm going to do this first. I'm going to build Lycanroc Buswell next, though, for sure. Hmm. Should I go Guard or should I go... Or should I go, like, Regirock? What do you guys think? Garb seems pretty decent. Play on Arm Slow King? I think I'm good, dude. But I appreciate it. <laughs> appreciate the suggestion. Mantic, how you doing, by the way? Yeah, so, by the way, if you haven't dropped a like, go ahead and drop a like. It's always greatly appreciated. I've been streaming for quite a, quite a bit. I think I'm going to build a Garb version and a Regirock version. I'm going to have like a deck where I play both. Uh, Trub. Oh my god, the internet, bro. Uh, which one is... Can we uh, filter just standard one, please? Apply. Thank you. Oh uh, yeah, here it is. One. I think I'm going to play a... Should I play, I'm going to play a 3-3 three, three line. I might take out two just so I could... Uh, I don't think there's any reason to play the other garb, by the way. I don't think tool drop is necessary. It's also cool because you can make your opponent scared of you playing tool drop. You know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to do this. That way I have room for four float stones. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think there's any reason to play tool drop. Wait, or play the other Trubbish? The stomp off one? Why? Oh, I guess you can't attack with this one, huh? Oh, you know what? You're kind of right. I do like that idea. Um, this. I think I'm gonna get rid of one of these. Play another Lotto. Now they're playing Garbodor. I also want to play another Stretcher. I think. I think the one of is fine actually. Because whether our Garbodor is or isn't active, we have a lot of stuff going for us this way. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make this play. All right, cool. So we'll do this. Busful garb. Save. Now we'll we'll play a. Uh, we'll also play a. Reggie Rock version, so you can try that as well. Instead of this, we'll just play Reggie Rocks. another hammer because that bumps our numbers up ridiculously think about it we have oh we can also play Potown we didn't play Potown in the other deck I do want to play Potown that's the thing I definitely want to play so I need I need to go put it in the other deck as well I gotta figure out what I want to drop I think Potown's like super important so now I gotta figure out what I want to drop which sucks In this deck list, I don't know. In the other one, I'm just gonna I'm gonna take out your hammer altogether. I know that for a fact. In this one, I'm not too sure. Potowns are like crazy important, so I want to keep the potowns. Uh, I don't want to lose these cards that like give me such strong advantages. I think I can just drop some energies. Ten energies isn't bad with energy lotto. And in this deck, we don't really need Energy Lotto because we have our Red Jurox, right? In theory, we don't really need them. So yeah, in this deck, we're good like this. Um, Red Jurox not worth IMO too heavy. Yeah, but we have our four Flow Stones. Plus, we have three Guzmas. Like, we have three Leleys. There's so many ways for us to get them out of the active where I don't even care. And like, our numbers are so high. <laughs> Because I jet punch for 30, 
Strong Energy for 50, 3 Reggie Rocks for 80, Fighting Fury Bell for 90, 2 it KOing everybody and pretty pretty much everyone <laughs> just uh, with a with a with a single energy is so ridiculous. We could play Nest Balls. But I'm, I'm, once again, like at this point, before we go back to the Garbodor deck, this, what do you guys think about this? Toss Skyla. The reason why I like Skyla so much is because of how important it is to uh, get Floatstone, to, to knock out basics. So like, in this, with without the red, I think in this build we could toss a Skyla, but like in the other build I don't think we can because um, we hit for 30, right? With Buswell. With a strong energy that's 50, with a fighting fear ball that's 60. 60 means we knock out the uh, Rowlets, we knock out uh, Ralts, we knock out a lot of basic Pokemon before they evolve, which is super duper good because plus well, you gotta take uh, all the prizes you can get early game. So uh, in this build, I think we're actually good to drop the Skyla, just because we have the Red Rock. Like Red Rocks are actually super clutch, but in the um, other build, I don't think it'd be that good. We already lose to Garb, so I don't think there's any reason to like tech against Garb. So I'm not too worried about that. I like Nest Ball. The Nest Ball idea is really good. I want to play more, to be honest. I think three floats should be fine. I think you're right. We'll play more Nest Balls. I think Nest Balls are just super good in this in this in this deck. Um, now comes a question: Fan Club or Bridget? We usually are only going to get one boss hole down at a time, so I think I like Bridget with Fan Club more. So I'm going to play Fan Club. Brooklyn bro. Well, I, I like Potown more. I want my Potown to be my stadium because it also helps you in your uh, evolution matchups. Potown is just too good. You place one ace roll with a max potion? <sighs> That's a good idea. Do I want to do that? Ace roll is searchable, which is why I like ace roll. Max Potion is actually really good. I'm gonna do Max Potion. We'll do a one of Max Potion. Two, four, six, eight, ten, <laughs> fourteen. Too many atoms. <laughs> too many atoms. Uh, I do like Max Potion though. I wonder if Max Potion could hurt, right? We'll try it out. That seems like a pretty decent idea. I should get another energy in here. Is 10 not enough? Oh, you know what we need to play? Maybe Super Auto would be good. Just put energies back. I mean, in theory, we're constantly recycling, right? So, we shouldn't desperately need them. I don't think Super Rod's worth it because we're playing Special Charge. Uh, honestly, I think I like an extra energy more than a Max Potion. Make dark ride deck? I will. There's plenty on my channel. There's not really much changes I would make to dark ride. The only thing I would do is like play Nahida Go like as a one of in my dark ride deck. Also, if you want to test a goofy thing to test with Buzzwell, maybe Buzzwell plus Porygon Z from Burning Shadows or even more Jet Punch and Potown Devo shenanigans. That could be fun. We'll try that out. Or uh, Wool R. I don't know what you're saying, Derek, but what's up? Also, four Potowns is good, but only against evolutions, otherwise, it's useless. Yes. That's very true. Is Dark Eye still tier one? Not even close, my dude. It's not very good right now. Not on standard. And expanded even, it's not even that great. Just because we have like Night March and taking over again. And there's that stupid psychic deck that's broken as all hell. Uh, I don't know if I like I, I we don't really need Lotto. The reason why I took out Lotto is because I need Lotto to get strong to get to get strong energy, like right away, right? But since we have the Reggie Rocks, we don't really need strong energies right away. Because Red Rock's gonna cover a lot of that basis for us. So. I don't think it's necessary to play Energy Lotto. 
Strong energy is also like Red Rocks also give us a chance to knock out Wimpods before they evolve, which is really good, which is something we couldn't do before. I mean, uh, Red Rocks do that. Aura, would you play my list on stream? I just posted on this. Not tonight, but I will do it because I do have days where I play people's list. <clears throat> Alright, so I think I'm good with this. I don't think there's many changes I want to make. Eventually, I could see if I want to drop Potown numbers to increase energy numbers or something like that. But like at this point, the only thing that can make this deck better is actually testing. So we'll do the Bedjo Buzzle or Red Rock. With, with Guardia being the best deck in format, I think it's super important to have things like Potown in your deck. So I got to play them in here as well. Drop the E-Hammer. I still think this is too important to not play. But it's really hard to figure out what I want to drop in this deck list. I think I'm going to stick with three bus holes on this one. That's for deck space issues. Because I really, really need the Potowns in this one. We'll do pack openings in a second and then we'll announce the giveaway winners. Did somebody PM me with the number by by chance? Oh, Nebby did. Do shots and Nebs. Oh, I mean, no, Nebby, no, Nebby was doing this other thing. Never mind. Okay, can somebody message me the number of total giveaways I put out? Uh, total, like, total donations and stuff like that, just so I can have a number to pick from. <sighs> I have to take out two more cards. Two more cards. What do I take out? I think one of you. I think we just stick with this. Maybe one. No. Because those are too good. I think we just stick with this. I think we just play three Potons. It's not ideal, but... Once again, testing the numbers. Testing is the only way to fix numbers right now. Hmm. I like how the only decks I care about building. I, I do want to build a, a uh, executor deck. That's the only deck that comes to mind from Shining Legends, besides like these two, these two Pokemon. Hmm. Oh, this is the Po Town theme. I should probably switch music, huh? I got 163. I think you're right, because I did do 158, right? Yeah, well, I, I counted earlier 158, and I just got a five dollar donation, so. I think your number is right. Beedrill with the new Kakuna. Beedrill so bad though. But yeah, I'm going to do that. It's just like those are the silly decks I don't care about building right away. I'll build those whenever I run out of playing these decks. For all of October, yes. Since I put the first announcement thing, like, hey, this is the this month's giveaway. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll just build Buswell Lycanroc, do a couple pack openings, and call it a stream. I want to see what other variants of Savali I could build, but right now there's not really much. In this deck, less floats. Probably can stick with two. I still think... Fighting Field Belt's way more important than Choice Band. But in this one, I think I'm okay to split. No, maybe I just play more. I don't know. Um, Potown's not as... I don't really want to play Potown because I don't want to put myself in range ever. I like Choice Bands more in this in this build, so I might play like two Choice Bands. The Lottos are still important for strong energies early game. All right. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do this. I think you only really need a 2-2 two -two line of Rock Ruff, Lycanroc in this deck. I'm 
just because of like you're only using it for its ability. It also has a really strong GX attack you can lose later in the game. Maybe I should play like one or two DCs just for the sake of using this GX attack. Because uh, or it's Claw Slash, but I think I'm never gonna use this, uh, Claw Slash attack now that I think about it. Uh, we have plenty of deck space now though. Let's play a Choice Band. We'll play two Choice Bands, maybe three. We'll try three, I guess. Cause I uh, I don't know maybe I, maybe it's worth playing like two DCEs but claw slash is just an attack I never really plan on using. So I feel like I might be behind if I'm using it. I'll play two anyways just in case. I don't know, I don't know if it's worth though. Maybe if I think of other cards that are decent, I'll play those instead. But for the time being, I, I guess I'll test two DCEs. Is that Lycan Rock? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Lycan Rock does not have a K in it. Alright, so this is done, which means it is time for us to open up a couple of packs before we announce the giveaway winners. If you're not using Claw Slash, Choice Band doesn't look too good. I mean, Choice Band is just good to, like, do a crap ton of damage, right? Over the fighting for your well. Like, Choice Band is good for GX heavy decks. Like, think think of uh, attacking Volcanion, right? Like, if we're hitting Volcanion, we can hit them for 80 damage with a strong energy. As opposed to what 60? 60 is not as good. Uh, Kakuis are decent. I don't know. I think I, the Claw Slash is worth trying for sure, though. Astros win. Yes! Cool. Those are my, those are my boys. That means free tacos. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and open some packs and then we will <clears throat> announce the winner. We will announce what we're giving away next time, too, as well, which, by the way, we got some heat for next time. So don't stick around for sure. Um, let's see what other packs I have. Packs. No, oh, we have these. We have to open up these. We'll open up these first. Is our being the luck here? Bro, you here, right? Everybody put your hands in the air. Charge up the ore. Sorry, I thought somebody called me. I guess not. Um, but yeah, let's do this. And it's taking forever. Of course. Must be a good pack. That's all there is to it. It's just, it's just loading up all of the uh, goodness that's in here. Legendary. What's even good in Legendary Treasures? I do not know anything about this set. Oh, wait a minute. Swat is my favorite bug type, by the way. My favorite starter bug is right here. We have three good things, so I don't know what that means. Is that a shiny Ralts? Is that a shiny Ralts? That looks like a shiny Ralts. That's really cool. That's 40 HP. It's really bad, but it's pretty, it's pretty dope. Okay. <laughs> That's really pretty. I'm not gonna lie. It's a very pretty card. The Outrage Rush Ram. I'm a fan of this. Okay, extra drill GX. That's pretty cool. Um, it's got a top card deck. The base attack of one of your Pokemon. Oh, that's cool with Mallow, right? That's 10 damage sheets of your, of your bench Pokemon. Because you can control what you top deck next turn while getting an energy on it. That's pretty cool, actually. Whatever. I wish there was an attack like this in standard, because that'd be really dope. And Mewtwo. That's really cool. This is, this artwork is dope. I want this artwork. I want this card. All right, let's open another one. Isn't this guaranteed something? I don't know. Probably. Everything from Black White's in this. <laughs> Ooh, the Pikachu. I have that Pikachu. Um, it's a different Ralts this time. Was the other one like special or something? Empoleon with the with the why is, why is the trouble riding Empoleon? That is just not okay. Get off my Ember, bro. Polis rage from this set are crazy good. Are they good online too? Apparently so. <laughs> we got a Emolga. That's actually my first Flower card I've ever gotten. I got it from a friend. 
a uh, Miss Mag as our rare, and a Moltres Hollow. That's cool. Well, I guess we're done with this one. Next set. Uh, we have Burning Shadows to open. Probably open up 10 of those. We have one Guardians Rising. We'll just open this one right away. I hope it's a Locked Lele. That's not any high rarity besides regular. <laughs> I wish they've never made Travis Garb. You and the majority of Pokemon fans. <laughs> uh, regardless, they would just give an item lock to a different Pokemon. So their ability lock to a different Pokemon. So a lot of people just don't like the design of them. And we'll open up uh, 10 of these. And we'll pick some winners here. I gotta pull up like... Uh, I have to pull up like other things on the stream. So that's gonna be weird. Did you trade me your Fuller Lele? Uh, probably not, because the Fuller Lele was kind of lined up. Hey, cool. It was kind of lined up for next month's giveaway. But I'll see what I, I see if I'll see if I can hook you up with a Lele here, ch uh, champion. If you don't care about rarity online, I think I can get like a regular art and see what I can do for you. Let's get this wick and out his mom. <laughs> I was gonna give regular ladies and throw ins. Oh, then let's talk orange if that's the case. Because as long as I'm giving away Lele, I don't really mind. Uh, so it's just uh, PM, PM me orange on Discord if you can. Or Twitch or Twi Twitter or whatever. Or is Pack Life pulls a GX okay? I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just ho. I have seven of those. <laughs> we can do a ho giveaway for you. For the people that didn't donate, how about that? Let's get let's do a whole OGX giveaway, all right? Uh, let me know with the hashtag sacred. Um, who is your favorite box art legendary? Box art legendary means the Pokemon that is a legendary Pokemon that was on the that was in the cover of a Pokemon game. For instance, not counting red, blue, and yellow, uh, gold, silver, crystal was Suicune, Ho Lugia, uh, Emerald was Rayquaza, Emerald. Sapphire Rubies, Rayquaza, Groudon, Kyogre, Omega Rubies, like Delta, you know, you know, you know, you know what I mean. So let me know who your favorite cover legendary Pokemon is with the hashtag sacred for, for sacred fire. And uh, I'll pick a winner to give a ho-oh to. Looks like we're not getting too much that's good this time. But this is good because I get to pick a winner while also picking some winners for the other thing. I think that was the last pack, right? Got one more. Let's see if we can get something good. Thick Sophocles, thick Sophocles. <laughs> get this man out of here. And the last two packs are nothing. We got a Guzma though. <laughs> If, I was, if that was our I'd be pretty excited, I'm not going to lie. But now I have a lot of Guzmans online. Alright, let's go ahead and set this up really quick. Let's see if I can make this work. Let's do random number generator. So this is your last chance, guys, if anybody wants to donate for a chance to win a couple of cards. We do have a couple of cool things we're giving away. Uh, Gardevoir GX Full Art. Uh... Hyper rare, probably not this time, but we'll give we'll give away Gardevoir GX full art. We will give away a Zoark GX hyper rare, and we'll give away choice band. Here it is, secret rare choice band. Those are the three cards we're giving away this month. We're gonna have three winners. So uh, if you guys want to, if you guys want to have a chance to enter really quick, now's your time before I um, call it. Birch, <laughs> I hate you. Um, let me see if I can uh, make this work. Add. Uh, window capture. Add existing Chrome. Okay, there it is. Uh, 
Sure, I don't think it matters. Eh, whatever. I'll make it look nice, I guess. There you go. Better than nothing, I guess. All right, so, since I'm assuming nobody's going to donate. <laughs> Still getting time for unarmed. Uh, all right, cool, so we have 163 donations, right? So the way this works is that in the order that your name shows up on the monthly giveaway thing uh, will be your numbers and um, using those numbers, I will generate a random number in the order of things. So I think the first card we're gonna give away is going to be the Full Art Gardevoir GX. So let's see if you people are here. <clears throat> All right, let me take a look at the Discord real quick to pull up these numbers. All right, so. Just as a reminder, I'm going to go ahead and name off all the numbers right now. So we have Nebby <laughs> with number one. We have Duboy uh, Zooey. That's what I call him personally with 25. So he's going, he has, he has two, he has numbers two through 26. We have Brady Mooser with the next 18 numbers. BK with 30 numbers after that. Eran with five. Bad Crow with 10. Devin with seven. Vampire with 10. Team Bad Deck, my boy, with 10. Nelson with 5. BK Rapper with 10. Skippy with 20. Mr. Friday with 2. Khan with 5. And Timmy with 5. So, it's fairly small this month, but you guys are always, you guys are super greatly appreciated. Shoutouts to you guys. I know a couple of these were like random double days, so we didn't actually make $163. It's more along the lines of like a straight 100 But uh, that $100 did go directly to my car fund. So, shoutouts to you guys. Um, unfortunately, we did not make enough to give to get do to do any uh, box giveaways or IRL card giveaways like I was hoping to do this month because uh, we did, we just didn't make the money. I was hoping to make 400 so we can get a case, but it's just not going to happen this month. So it's whatever. It's just it's Crimson Invasion. Nobody cares about it. But I do want to thank you guys all so much again for being super generous the way you guys are. Um, or do you test people send offline, or do you stream it? I just I usually don't even play unless I'm streaming, guys. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. Either I'm playing IRL or never, because I never play online unless I'm streaming. He's absent. I'll take his donations. I'm back. Astros win. Ooh, alright, Devin. This is good because you're back just in time to see if you want something. Um, but yeah. So thank you guys all so much for the kind donations. Next month is gonna be another month where we're gonna be doing another giveaway, uh, similar to this one. And yeah. It's pretty exciting, pretty exciting stuff. I do, I, I don't know, man. I appreciate you guys all. But we're going to go ahead and generate the number. So the first winner for the Full Art Gardevoir GX is going to be number 142. Uh, that's, that is far down in the bottom. So <laughs> let's pull up a calculator. I don't know why I clicked enter, but we're going to do this. <laughs> all right, so let's see what now, who, who's the, got what. So, minus five, I think it's Skippy. I think that's Skippy, right? So, 163 minus five, that's the four, equals 158, minus five, again, for Khan, equals 153, minus two is Mr. Friday. Um... And then minus 20 is going to be 131. So 131 means that's between the numbers. So Skippy is actually the winner for the full art guardy. So I'm going to go ahead and tag people uh, at Skippy. Actually, I don't know Skippy's name. Uh, so full art guardy, we might do another giveaway in a couple of days. Skippy wins full art Guardy. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. His t I don't know his at. So we're gonna have to stick with that. Um, do sponsors not have jobs? Sponsors do. Oh Blake. Oh, I gotta add Blake to this as well. In fact, because of that, I should probably re-roll. Uh, who respawned? I can actually check real quick. I know that. Um, 
Blake respawned. I'm pretty sure I had... Is your number not in here, Blake? I put in the other ones. Um, I don't think I put Joe's in here, though. Let me actually do that real quick before I forget. Hold on. My bad, I forgot. Sponsors do get their five their five dollars for sponsoring as an entry. So real quick, um, Blake has five and a uh, salty Joe. I'm gonna call him Vice Eater username. Salty Joe has five. <clears throat> this is super messy. I wasn't prepared. I was not prepared. 14 hour shifts and or streams are the best. Thank you, Nico Nico. I don't know if that's like sarcasm or not, but it sounds like sarcasm. <laughs> so now we're at 173. So let me go ahead and reroll just because it wasn't fair. Uh, I don't know of any other spawns that I haven't put in already. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure all the other spawns are already put in. If not, I will give them double next month, I suppose, because nobody reminded me. And I, uh, I don't, nobody tells me. And the other spawns are not active. And Nick, the Nick's doesn't want to be part of it, so I'm gonna go ahead and base it off that. All right, cool. So now we got 173. We're gonna reroll for the Guardian. So now you have another chance to win, people. Poor Skippy, unless he wins again. <laughs> oh, Nico as well. Nico, Nico. No, I think I think I know. I don't have your name either. My God. Uh, 178. <laughs> no. Ugh, there it is. Okay. Equals 178. Dope. So we have 178. Um, uh, spawns, spawns, where are the spawns, where are the spawns, uh, monthly giveaway, alright, so now we're gonna add Nico Nico, my, my, my dude, my man, what's poppin', um, alright, so let's try this again, <laughs> 178, the winner for the Full Art Guardi is going to be, <clears throat> random number generator, over here, that's where it is, is going to be 79. So who's 79? So now we go back to the calculator, right? Um, we go all the way to the top since 79 is easy to hit. We got, let's go ahead and do this. One plus, move Nebby's all the way over here. I can't see the chat for this, guys. I do apologize ahead of time. Plus 25 plus 18 plus 30. Goes 74. So the next person is probably going to be it. And the next person is Iran. Shout out to Iran. Iran actually wins the Full Art Gardevoir. So just barely. He's like the last number. Um, I don't know what Iran's username is. Somebody let me know what user what. Oh no, it's right there. It starts with a three. At, I keep forgetting. Iran wins Full Art. Guardy. So Iran wins the Flower Guardy. So the next one is going to be for the Hyper Rare Zoark. How about that? We'll do the next one is Hyper Rare Zoark. So obviously Iran will not win. If we do land on his number, we will just re-roll uh, just because it makes it easier than subtracting every time. Uh, but yeah, we'll re-roll for another one. So let's go ahead and see who will win the Hyper Rare Zoark GX. And the winner is 61. <laughs> Apparently the, the higher numbers are greatly loved this time. I believe 61 is BK. So BK wins the Zoark. Because he's right. Yeah, BK wins the Zoark. Uh, I don't know who BK... I don't know... BK's user is now as, as well. So I'm going to go ahead and say... BK wins the Hyper Zoark. Remember, if people do not claim their prizes by the end of the week, I will re-roll the winners. So keep that in mind. Um, but BK wins the Hyper Rare Zoark. And now, the final winner for the Secret Rare Choice Band. Beautiful, beautiful card. Super excited. I want to see people in the chat are saying, probably all mad that they didn't win. <laughs> Do this for you, maybe, but this, but though I don't, I don't, I don't care. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. So let's see the next, the next person and the final card this month. I don't want to go overboard like I did last month to give away everything in the, everything in their mother because we don't have that many donators this month. But 
the final prize for this month is going to be, and remember to stick around afterwards to see what we're giving away next month as well, 162. That is going from the top all the way to the bottom. So 162, we started at 178, so minus 15 is 163, which means the next one over is Timmy. My boy Timmy wins the Secret Rare Choice Band. At Timmy wins the secret rare choice band. I was, I'm telling you, man. Everybody that besides uh, BK, like the the low the low donators, actually ended up winning, and one of them was a sponsor, which is even doper. Yeah, everyone, thank you again. I'll post next month's giveaway here soon, so stay alert. Okay, so shout outs to you, all of you that have donated, all of you that are sponsoring, all of you that are supporting the boy. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, now, next month's giveaway. Let's see, what are we giving away next month? First of all, we're gonna give away the second Hyper Rizzo arc for, for sure. I think what we're gonna do this time is going to be, I know exactly what we're gonna do. So the, the, the base one, because I always try to make the base one a really, really good card, like a really good card, usually a secret rare. So this month's base one is actually going to be a secret rare double colorless energy. So no matter how much money we make this month, no matter how much giveaway, no matter, how, no matter like, no matter what the situation, we're definitely giving away Hyper Rare or Secret Rare Double Colors Energy this month. Do I send the trade now? Yeah, go ahead, dude. Um, it's going to be Double Colors Energy. For sure. Timmy, dude, Timmy just donated today. He donated today and won. That is, that is the MVP, dude. He donated today, just $5 today, and he ended up winning, bro. Shout out to that. Anyways, Double Colors Energy is this month's giveaway. Um... So that's for sure. Uh, we're also gonna do the Zoroark again. So we'll do this one with the baseline as well. So we have those two baselines for sure. Uh, if we hit $100, just a simple $100, which is really easy to get, I will be giving away a Lele for sure, all right? If we hit $300, I will be giving away the Top of Lele GX Hyper Rare, just like we did last time. The Top of Lele GX Hyper Rare will only be giving away once we hit $300 in a month, so. Uh, so we're going to do that again, but the $200 one, which shouldn't be too hard, is going to be this is really similar to the last month. We're going to be doing, I don't know why I did Hyper. We're going to be doing Hyper Rare Gardevoir GX for the next tier above the top of the day, all right? So I think those are going to be the prizes. If there's any other prizes you guys want to see or want to get, let me know. What I can do real quick is is um actually you know what else we can do filter apply i know i have don't i have other secret rare energies do they not count i guess not oh it's because it's typed my bad yeah we can give away all of our all of my secret energies. So, the baseline is going to be secret energies. We have two psychics, one metal, one DCE, and one dark. That's going to be the baseline. All right, and then the hyper is Zoroark as well, just because I Zoroark's good, you know. Um, and then everything else will be the cards that I just announced. So, thank you guys all so much for coming back to the stream. Drop a like if you haven't already. Looks like a lot of people left, so that's fair. That's fair. Uh, drop a like if you haven't already. Subscribe, share, all that good jazz. Uh, once again, the support is so insanely appreciated. It goes such a long way whenever you guys do support me like this. All of these categories. Um, tomorrow I have a different video for you guys. Very, very different. Just the day before um, Crimson Invasion comes out whenever we go hard into Pokemon. I'm going to be uploading a video. Uh, hopefully you guys like it. If you guys like it, let me know. Uh, 
But with that, I'm going to end the stream. So drop a like if you haven't already. Subscribe, share all the good jazz. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.